हेलो मैम हेलो डॉक्टर यस मैम आई विल सेंड माय आई विल शेयर माय ओके ओके हेलो डॉक्टर हेलो आई एम अनेबल टू सेंड माय पीपीटी इस तरह की प्रॉब्लम यस मैम ओके सो प्लीज ट्राई इट अगेन एंड आई नेक्स्ट यू कैन प्रेजेंट नेक्स्ट नाउ नाउ आई विल इनवाइट डॉक्टर श्वेता आसाराम थुमाल फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक आयुर्वेदिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सेलुलाइटिस ए केस स्टडी हेलो डॉक्टर श्वेता डॉक्टर श्वेता आर यू देयर वन मिनट मैम ओके यस यस मैम वन मिनट मैम एक्चुअली आई एम आउटसाइड नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम रीजंस कैन आई गिव माय प्रेजेंटेशन लेटर आफ्टर सम टाइम ओके डॉक्टर सो नेक्स्ट आई इनवाइट डॉक्टर अंजलि शेखर फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन डॉक्टर अंजलि हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन हेलो मैम यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल डॉक्टर ओके ओके आशा ओके ओके हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर स्क्रीन सिस्टम डॉक्टर Uh, other side. Okay. Uh, good evening to everyone. My name is Dr. Anjali Shekhar. I'm a PG scholar from the Department of Kali Chikilsa. I'm doing PG in Science at Vedic Mahavidyalaya, Mumbai. I'm guided by Dr. Anya Patsikar, ma'am, uh, head of the Department uh, of Kali Chikilsa. Today, I'm uh, doing a case study on a, a patient uh, who presented with uh, Prashta Shul. And coming to the introduction. Uh, in ayurveda uh, adu prashta shul is understood as a pain in the gluteal region and as we all know it is it is a symptom and not a disease on its own and uh, um, we know that abhigada is one of a uh, nidana for vata vyathi and abhigada to the gluteal region should be considered very uh, critically because of the presence of uh, various marmas in the same place coming to the case study uh, this is a, a patient who a patient of uh, 48 years uh, male patient and uh, he came to the opd uh, complaining of pain in the gluteal region he had uh, he had been having the pain since 10 days he reported he had a, a blunt trauma to the gluteal region before the 10 days and um, initially he neglected the pain and um, later on the pain gradually increased and it was a very painful for him to sit for a long period of time and all and uh, and when we look into the nidana panchaka nidana is uh, abhigada purva rupa is atiruk lakshana is uh, atiruk asani vedana vritti shobha upashaya is uh, ushnodagena upashaya and sampratti abhigada to marma pradesha uh, which uh, led to vata prakopa and ati vedana coming to the assessment of uh, assessment criteria of pain uh first site uh, was gluteal region it was a sudden onset and it was and it was an aching pain and there was no radiation present uh, and it was associated with the swelling and he had a constant dull ache and exacerbated by sitting and lying on back and he had uh, alleviation in pain from hot water bag application and severity was uh, very much which was which made him um, impossible to sit for a long period and when we took the x ray of the uh, coccygeal region sacro coccygeal spine we could see uh, there was a mild posterior subluxation which is a, a partial dislocation 
in the coccygeal region um, and since it was um, almost uh, past 10 days it was um, reported as an old traumatic lesion and um, he also had a uh, disc prolapse this space uh, my, was mildly narrowed and this was suggestive of l5 s1 space uh, disc space reduction and uh, we started with, initially we started with the uh, kaishoro google um, 250 mg tds uh, considering uh, its abhigata origin and punarnava google uh, yogaraj uh, yogaraj google then nirgundi tela was initially we uh, gave the patient nirgundi tela considering its uh, shokahara vedanahara property and we also advised the patient to use how to water back application uh, twice daily after the application of oil and in after the sec after a week a duration of uh, a week patient uh, came back to the opd and uh, he had much relief and uh, at this time we uh, changed we replaced the the nirgundi tail with another oil and the ingredients of the oil was mahanarayana tela vata nashak tela devadaru tela taila parani tela uh, gandhapura tela and uh, masha tela karpura sarala uh, was also there and this was done because the contents of this uh, second tela which we gave it had uh, properties that would uh, reduce the uh, pitta prakopa which uh, could happen due to the apikada as a result of uh, rakta dhatu dushti which uh, resulted due to abhigada and uh, we added a, another uh, tablet which uh, had mahayograj gugul godandi phasma shundhi uh, maharaskadi kwadha abhrak phasma and this tablet also helped uh, in tackling with the abhigada property and then uh, the same medicine was uh, repeated for uh, another seven weeks and after the duration of all about uh, 21 days the parameters such as pain, swelling and tenderness uh, was reduced. Pain uh, which was very severe initially became mild after 21 days and the swelling which was moderate uh, was completely absent and the tenderness which was present was also absent after uh, the course of the treatment. And from this uh, I came to the conclusion that uh, we can manage very well a patient um, of Abhigata Javadavyati even if uh, that is happening to a, um, a Marma Pradhana region, we can uh, very well manage it with Vatahara, Snehana, Svedana, uh, Shodhara and Arakta Prasada with Chikitsa. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anjali. Thank you. Next, we go to the another paper presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Neha Ashok Bangire for the paper presentation on the topic role of Basti treatment in female infertility review. Dr. Neha, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, doctor. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Yes. Uh, my topic is the role of Basti treatment in female infertility, uh, infertility one that we review. Myself, Neha Ashok Bhangire from college, uh, SMBT Ayurvedic Medical College. My, I'm, my guide name is Prashant Patil. Abstract, infertility is defined as a failure to conceive within one or more year of a regular unprotected coitus. Protection or desire to have one's offspring is the greatest desire among human beings. Infertility, beside being a health issue, is more of a social problem which affects personal, social, and mental health of a person. 10% to 15% of married couples suffer from in infertility due to changing social lifestyle, professional life, and academic achievement. More and more couple, couples face this problem. The major causative factor in female infertility is de determined as PCOS or unavailability cycle. Vandatva has been described in 80 type of Vata Vadi. Vata Dosha is the govern, governing factor of whole reproductive physiology. Acharya mentions Basti treatment as a very useful treatment in Vandhatva, that is infertility. Basti is the most effective body purification procedure useful to regulate the function of Apana Vayu and helps to boost up health, a healthy ovulation by time, the releasing of ovum from ovaries. Present review is an effort to understand the efficacy of Basti in the female infertility. Aims and objectives aims to study the effect of busty treatment in female infertility objective to study the efficacy of busty treatment on ovulation in the management of 
female infertility to study the etiopathogenesis of vandetva to study the literature of vasti treatment introduction infertility is a serious health issue worldwide apart apparent failure of a couple to conceive after one year of unprotected regular coitus is defined as infertility ovulatory cause is a uh, cause is an important subset in infertility among human uh, accounting about 40% cases ovulation is under the control of three doshas among three doshas vata dosha plays major role in ovulation and basti is the is considered to be the best therapy for vata vata jaya disorder since basti is targeted at regulating uh, regulating the function of upan uh, vayu it facilitates the release of ovum timely globally an estimated 9% of women of reproductive age suffers from infertility this equals to 80 million women importance of present study childness is the greatest tragedy for married women causing various hazards to her life we have focus here on an ovulatory factor ovulation ovulation means it refers to the act of rupture of mature mature graphian follicle with release of secondary oocyte when the follicle does not rupture then ovulation fails and it is called as an ovulation vandha nashtartava vidyat materials and methods information regarding female infertility was collected from modern and ayurveda literature all the literature was specially studied for therapeutic use of basti treatment in vandetva and taken into consideration original article research paper published in journals uh, journals and in pubmed central uh, google scholar on basti therapy and female infertility nidana of vandetva sushruta have mentioned vandetva in vata joni rogas in kashyap sahita vandetva is mentioned in 80 rogas of vata bhel says that due to abnormalities of bija uh, bija of mother and father non conception of congenital rasa that is malnutrition leading to imp- improper formation of rasa dhatu and its upadhatu artha and disorders of yoni the woman becomes infertile proper functioning of four factors that two kshetra ambu and bees is the prime requisite for conception according to sushrut rutu best time period for conception kshetra male and female genital system especially female genital system right from vagina to uterus fallopian tube and ovary male genital system includes spermatogenesis semen analysis bees three bees that is artha and purush bees that is shukra ambu or proper nutrient fluid are the important factors for fertility abnormality in any one of these can cause infertility other cause according to sushrut destruction of artava as a combination a complication of yonarsha nashta bij and artava srotas ved that is injury to artava srotas according to charak abnormality of any one uh, out of shad bhavas that is matrush pitruj atmat satmej rasaj satvaj bhavas will cause the failure to conceive samirana nadi shukras kalan that is semen falling over samirana nadi or in outer part of yoni will cause the failure to conceive yoni dosha manasik abhitap shukra dosha asruk dosha ahara dosha vihara dosha balakshay atma dosha jata hai harini daiva have been included in the causes of delay in achieving conception now na hi vata drute yoni nari nam sampruddushyati all gynecological distor- disorders do not occur without vitiation of vata thus first of all vata vata should be normalized only then treatment for other dosha should be done the major pathogenesis of vandetva is either vata vitiation in the form of dhatukshay or avrana importance of vata in ovulation prakrut vat karya vayu tantra yantra dhara sarva sharir dhatu vyuh kar स्थूल अनु स्त्रोत स्त्रोतसा तेषा संयोग विभाग परमाणु कारण वायु कर्म स्वभाव ऑल दिस रेफरसेस इंडिकेट्स दैट वात प्लेज मेजर रोल इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिविजन सो एज टू ओविलेशन वाय बस्ती एक्ट ऑफ बस्ती इज रेग्युलेटेड बाय वात स्पेशली अपान वायु बस्ती क्यूर्स ऑल द डिज ऑफ वात सो इट मे एक्ट ऑन अन ओविलेशन बस्ती वात हरा Acharya Chara clearly noted that basti is an excellent therapy for women who are afflicted afflicted with the complication of vata 
and who are unable to conceive despite their mating with male partners according to kashyap agarbha agarbha garbha kama basti prashast for garbha strans that is bad obstetric history anuvasan basti janayet prajanam cha prajam strinam tatham runa alp pushpa nasht pushpa nasht bija akarmanya bija parita anuvasya iti the woman having a menorrhea scanty menstruation or ovulation or ovum with minimal or absence of capacity of fertilization etc are the causes of infertility in this situation anuvasan basti is the best line of treatment yoni prasadanam dhanyam vandhanam api putra putradam yasam cha garbha sransate jatavan dhrudha suta sukumaryascha ya narya subhaga nitya maithna these are some examples of anuvasan basti नारायण तेल बस्ती प्रभाव वंध्या अभी नारी पुत्र प्रसूयते शतपुष्पा तेल बस्ती लसून तेल बस्ती क्लीब वंध्या अति वृद्धा वृद्धा प्रजा प्रदम बला तेल बस्ती शतावरियादि अनुवासन बस्ती जीवन त्यादि अनुवासन यमक यापना बस्ती यापना बस्ती वर्क एज निरूह एज वेल एज स्नेहन बस्ती यापना बस्ती इज इंडिकेटेड इन इन्फर्टिलिटी नारी नाम प्रजाता नाम नराणाम चापी टिकली रेग्युलेटेड एज इफ द रूट ऑफ द डिज tree is destroyed its branches leaves and flowers are automatically destroyed thus it may act on anovulation by normalizing the pelvic reproductive physiology probable mode of action of basti basti virus spreads all over the body through strotas specifies the doshic vitiation regularizing agni gud sharira mula having both local and systemic effect normalizes upon vayu bees 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 of sarga गर्भम धारिये कार्य क्षम बीजवाहिनी एंड इन दिस वे इम्प्रूव इनफर्टिलिटी नाउ डिस्कशन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी इन्वॉल्व स्पेसिफिक आइडेंटिफाइबल कॉज एंड इट्स को रिलेशन अलॉन्ग विथ काउंसिलिंग टू बोथ द पार्टनर्स देर आर मेनी फैक्टर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फीमेल इनफर्टिलिटी लाइक अनोवेलेटरी फैक्टर ट्यूबल फैक्टर एंड सर्वाइकल फैक्टर ओविलेशन डिसऑर्डर इज द मोस्ट कॉमन फीमेल इनफर्टिलिटी फैक्टर in condition of un ovulation basti removes throat sanga and corrects artavagni which regulates the menstrual cycle thus resulting in ovulation ovaries contains receptors which receives hormones secreted by hypothalamus and pituitary gland the drug used in basti stimulate these receptors so that proper ovulation occurs in each cycle vandhatva being vat dominant disorder basti holds mainstream in management of disease conclusion a bezo sarga that is an ovulation is mainly due to vat dush according to ayurveda vat plays key role in all types of yoni rogas including vandhatva moreover ovulation is under the control of vat as basti is the pra- pradhan chikitsa for vat disorder it definitely acts on an ovulation these are the references and thank you thank you doctor next is also a paper presentation under samkhita panel i would like to invite dr nikki patel for the hello. paper presentation on the topic critical analysis of double adhi jorna hello 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 am audible yes doctor audible हेलो एस डॉक्टर यू स्पेन इज विजुअल डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन हां माय टॉपिक इज क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ सिटोप्लादी जोरम आई सेल्फ डॉक्टर निकी पटेल आई एम फ्रॉम आई एम फ्रॉम श्री श्री कॉलेज ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक साइंस एंड रिसर्च ऑफ बेंगलुरु डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रिजिस स्टडीज इन आयुर्वेद संहिता एंड सिद्धांत हम्म 
there is my content introduction review of literature discussion and conclusion introduction sitopladi chuna is a widely used yoga in the kasa that helps remove the dryness and release sputum of out of respiratory tract and it is a safe it is a safe to use because it doesn't contain any other poisonous material sitopladi chuna falls under chuna kalpana the adhikaran of this yoga in rajya yaksha chikitsa after kosta suddhi falasruti of sitopladi chuna status is utility in kasa arochaka chardi parshvasana supta jiva and kapha atura patient here in the given study an attempt is made to analyze sitopladi chuna review of literature सुप्त जीवा अरोचक अल्पाग्नि एंड पार्श्व शूल द औषध काल ऑफ द सितोप्लादी चूर्ण इन इन श्वास काल इट्स गिव इन महुर मुहुर औषध काल सितोप्लादी चूर्ण मिक्स विथ हनी एंड गी एंड देन गिव एज अ अवले फॉर फॉर अ फ्रीक्वेंटली एडमिनिस्ट्रेटेड इररिस्पेक्टिव्स ऑफ भुक्त और अभुक्त अवस्था हाईली कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सितोप्लादी अवले प्रोवाइड्स मोर बायोअवेलेबिलिटी एंड आल्सो ट्रीट द विशेषित डोसा इन देयर संचय एंड वेगा अवस्था इन सुप्त जीवा इट्स गिव बी इन अंतराभुक्त along with the food or it is given with the food so sitopladi chuna mixed with rasa dhatu and then spread all over the body in alpagni it should be given in madhya bhakta aushadh kal sitopladi chuna takes a chuna form in alpagni because the chuna is so lighter for a digestion if it is administered between meals and adho and urdhva gati of the pressure is restricted by the food so it cannot spread and it is forced to act locally according to chakramani and indu commentary 50% of food intake then intake the pressure and again take a remaining food or in alpagni this call helps to improve digestive fire because it helps to control paitik and koshtagata vyadhi and also saman vayu drushti in parshvashul it should be given in the grasantara aushadh kala sitopladi chuna takes with madhu and gruta and makes avale from then administrators between two morsel of food this call helps to improve pran vayu vikruti and also help in also helps in correcting the gati vikruti of the vata dosha by promoting anuloman of vata dosha in kapha atura patient it should be given in abhakta aushadh kal sitopladi chuna takes with honey and administered on empty stomachs when the kosta is a devoid of kapha it is a mixed with the food according to hamadri commentary once the consumed food is digested paisaj is given and after this digestion food is given and according to indu commentary paisaj is given 3 hours after the sunrise in aush in this aushad kal amashaya and srotas are rikt and it is come to direct contact of agni so sitopladi chuna is highly potent and one get the maximum benefit benefits of it here sitopladi contain and make a dynamic of in ingredients here sitopladi churans ingredients have a madhura vipak and duchagnata like a kapha and pitthara and vata kapha har importance of the pradhan dravya vedvi in pradhanina dravya samu prasrujyate tas sangnekam sa yogo vai bhavati iti vinischaya phaladinam pradhanam gunabhuta shura adaya tehi tanya anuvartayante manju manujendram mi me better in the in a yoga just as a people of the country follow the king similarly a pradhan dravya guna follows the pradhan dravya here in the madan adi bihe sura bischa militve gami yoga sura adi follows the madan adi bi in vamana vilachana kalpa discussion 
due to namakaran siddhanta sitopladi chura is a name based on the pradhan dravya where sita is a 16 part samudaya prabhava the yoga acts in accordance to pradhan dravya's rule thus the quality of the sita being a pittagna it acts in the pittaja class associated with the kapha above sita and madhura dravya also are given in a pittaja kasha kalpana vishesha chuna is a laguttar for a digestion according to acharya sushruta importance of madhura vipak in a kasha samruddha upavata is a synthesis for a vatanu lomana madhura vipak dravya are stated avaya va prabhava here sita and madhura gun of the sita acts as a pittahara Pithara acts on due to Chedana Guna of the Tukakshiri, it acts like a Kapha Vilayana and the Rechana Guna of the people, it expels the Kapha through the nasal secretion and the stools. The Katu and Ruksha Guna of the Bahula, it's a Kapha Hara. Is the kapha hara and the katura sa and ushna vidya of the dalachini it rectifies agreement there by the doing a dipana and a pachana importance of the auchada kala the proper knowledge of the agni and auchada sevan kala will helps in understanding the food and drug interaction which is helpful in the proper treatment of the patient the indication of the sitopladi chuna is like a swasa and a kasha in swasa and kasha it should be given mhur mhur auchada kala in kapha tura patient abhakta auchada kala sukta jiva antra abhakta auchada kala in arochaka it should be given in sabhakta aushadi kala and in agni mantha it should be given in madhya bhakta and in parshvashula it is given in a grashantara aushadi kala in conclusion by the namkara siddhanta we could analyze the pradhana drugs in yogas is a sita the yoga acts in accordance to main drugs here is here it is a sita doing a pittahara thus indicated in the pittajakas associated with the kapha chuna kalpana is a faster and lighter for a digestion Avayava Prabhava helps to assist the role of each dravya in Samprampti Vigatan and Madhura Vipaka dravya helps to do Vatanu Lomana. Here is my reference. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nikki. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shraddha Shandaram for the paper presentation on the topic Ayurvedic Approach for Management of Fondylitis, a case study. Dr. Shraddha, are you there? Yes, I am hearing. Yes, Doctor, please start the session. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Uh, screen is visible. My screen yes, is visible. Yes, Doctor, visible, visible. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, hello. Good evening. Today's my uh, presentation topic name is Ayurvedic Approach for Management of Ankylosing Spondylitis, a case study. My name is Vaidya Shraddha Bhuvar, PG Scholar, Department of Kaya Chikitsa. My guide name is Vaidya Anaya Patrikar, HOD and Professor, Department of Kaya Chikitsa. My college name is APM Sayurved Mahavidyalaya, Sayan, Mumbai. Uh, introduction. Ankylosing Spondylitis is a chronic, systemic, a chronic systemic inflammatory disease that affects primarily the sacroiliac joints and spine. Certain peripheral joints and tendons can also be affected and extra-articular manifestation may be present. The etiology of ankylosing spondylitis remains unclear. HLA B27 gene is found in more than 90% of patients with ankylosing spondylitis. Low back Low back pain is the first symptoms in more than 75% of patients. Amuat is a disease with vitiation of vata dosha and accumulation of arm takes place in joint. Shaman and Shodhan majors are advised in Ayurveda, whereas anti-inflammatory analgesic steroids and disease modifying the rheumatoid drugs are required for its management as per modern science. Here, my case presentation. Uh, here, my case study of 50 years female patients came in our institutes at Sion, Mumbai, for Ayurvedic treatments. Symptoms are uh, low back pain associated with morning stiffness. Second, pain at left knee joint. Third, pain at peripheral joints. And fourth, jvara pratiti duration since five to six months. Ashtavit pariksha, nadi, kapha pittash, mala, asamyak. Uh, means Malaustamba, Mutra, Samyak, four to five times per day, Jiva Sam, Shabda Prakrut, Sparsha Ushna, Drika Prakrut, Akruti Stula. 
a history of present illness patient was normal before 5 to 6 month then she started low back pain associated with morning stiff stiffness disturbed sleep loss of appetite irregular bowel evacuation patient was treated with tablet folvite 5g 1hs tablet sars bs 1000 mg 1bd tablet folitrax 5g every saturday sunday tablet sompras 40 mg od tablet super suprac alpro 1hs here my investigations reports are patient was hla hla1 b27 positive on date 15 june uh, 2021 after that patient started allopathy medications निदान पंचक हेतु दधी सेवन शीत जल स्नान दिवा स्वाप रात्र जागरण अवे भोजन पूर्व रूप लो बैक पेन नी जॉइंट पेन रूप लो बैक पेन असोसिएटेड विथ मॉर्निंग स्टीफनेस पेन एट वेरीफेरल जॉइंट अनुपशय इन्क्रीज इन कोल्ड सीजन संप्राप्ति आफ्टर हेतु सेवन आम संचिति रसधातु दुष्टि देन impaired nutrition of dhatu vata vitiation and gates associated with arm samavat and samarasa dhatu lodges at sandhi initially at sacroiliac joint causes pain and stiffness and edema on and off then asti poshak shay asti kshay sandhi shaitilya strotamansi abhishandya after that trikas sandhi praveshanam stabdhata guru katrata uh, then amvat is formed हियर मै ऑब्जेक्टिव क्राइटेरिया आर मेन्शन इन ग्रेडिएशन फॉर्म प्लैन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट आम पाचन सेकेंड मृदु विरेचन थर्ड वातघ्न चिकित्सा फोर्थ लाइफ स्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशन आहार एंड विहार एंड मॉनिटरिंग एंड ग्रेजुअल टैपरिंग ऑफ स्टीरोइड्स फर्स्ट मेडिके मेडिसिन आर यूज फर्स्ट सिंहनाथ गुगू टू फिफ्टी एम जी डोज थ्राइस अ डे सेकेंड पुनर्नवा गुगू टू फिफ्टी एम जी थ्राइस अ डे त्रिफा गुगू फाय एम जी एट अ बेड टाइम रासना सप्तक वाद ट्वेंटी एम एल थ्राइस अ डे दशमुला रिस्ट ट्वेंटी एम एल थ्राइस अ डे लाइफ स्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशन आहार वातघ्न द्रव्य एवर्ड स्पाइसी एंड ऑइली फूड विहार वृक्ष स्वेदन एंड पोटली स्वेद एंड हॉट वॉटर बैग एवर्ड डिवा स्वाप एंड डू एक्सरसाइज डिस्कशन फॉर सिंहनाथ गोकू द मेन इन्ग्रीडियंट्स ऑफ सिंहनाथ गोकू इज एरंड तेल इज व्री इफेक्टिव इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ आम वाथा तिकट एंड तिक्त एंड कटुरस प्रेजेंट इन सिंहनाथ गोकू पजेस इज द एंटागोनिस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दैट ऑफ आम एंड कफ विच आर चीफ पॉजिटिव फैक्टर्स इन द डिज सेकेंड पुनर्नवा गोकू पुनर्नवा गोकू एक्ट एज अ डीप एक्टिंग डिटॉक्सिफायर एंड डायुरेटिक टॉक्सिन्स एंड इवेपरेट एक्सेसिव फ्लूड्स थर्ड रासना सप्तकवाद इन्ग्रीडियंट्स आर रासना अमृता आरगवत देवदारू त्रिकंटक एरंड पुनर्नवा नागर चक्रदंत मेन्शन रासना सप्तकवाद इन आमवाद रोगाधिकार रासना सप्तकवाद बैलेंसेस वाद एंड कफ दोषा दशमलाष्ट इट एक्ट एज दीपन पाचन रुच वातानुलोमन शूलहरण ग्राही एंड बल्य त्रिफा गुग त्रिफा चूर्ण मोस्ट ऑफ ड्रग्स आर कटु तिक्तरस उष्ण वीर्य लघु मधुर विपाक बींग लघु गुण कटु तिक्तरस उष्ण वीर्य इट डज बेस्ट आम पाचन इट विल एक्ट एज अ कफ वात शामन एंड अनुलोमन monitoring and gradual tapering of steroids monitoring and gradual tapering of steroids tablet folitrax and tablet sars step by step conclusion through though, uh, through direct correlation was not mentioned for ankylosing spondylitis detailed history taking help us to understand the flow of samprapti on the basis of basis of the signs and symptom the case was understood wherein the मुलक कर्म वॉज रूल आउट मैनेज अकॉर्डिंगली इन द लाइन ऑफ आमवाद एंड मार्क इम्प्रूवमेंट वॉज नोटिस वॉज नोटेड थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर श्रद्धा थैंक यू नेक्स्ट आई वु लाइक टू इन्वाइट डॉक्टर अर्चना विष्णु किलारे फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक इम्पैक्ट ऑफ मद वृद्धि ऑन रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम प्राण ऑफ स्रोत डॉक्टर अर्चना आर यू दे Yes, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Ah, uh, one minute. Uh? Okay, doctor. Is my screen visible? Not visible, doctor. Wait a minute. Okay, doctor.
ನಾವು ಯೋಚಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನು ಸಿಹಿಸ್ರಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹಲೋ ಹಲೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಹಲೋ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ एवरीवन ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅರ್ಚನಾ ಕಿಲಾರೆ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೈ ಪೇಪರ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇದ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಆನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಟರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೇದ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಬಾಡಿಲಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಮ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇದ ವೃದ್ಧಿ many of the symptoms have involvement directly and indirectly of pranavas rotas that is respiratory system modern science also explained it very well therefore it is important to understand the basic concepts behind it the aims and objective of my paper are aim is to study the impact of medavruti on respiratory system objective is to elaborate the comprehensive impact of uh, regarding the effect of medavruti on respiratory system and pranavas rotas next the material and methodology used is ayurvedic samhitas textbooks research articles internet information etc next the hetu and lakshana of medha vruddhi described in acharya described by acharyas are uh, hetus are shleshma lahar sevan that is intake of excessive fatty and carbohydrate rich food varuni sevan that is alcoholic beverages avyayam that is physical inactivity and lack of physical exercise diva sapna that is daytime sleep the uh, characteristics present uh, due to these uh, causative factors are dryness of throat and mouth excessive thirst difficulty in breathing or breathlessness exhaustion laziness increased sleeping in ten- tendency increase in the body weight next so many of the symptoms stated by acharyas have direct or indirect involvement of pranava srotas according to modern science also increase in the overall body fat results in the various systemic manifestations out of which sleep apnea disturbed sleeping patterns dryness of mouth and throat increased thirst dyspnea etc are the manifestations which involve respiratory system so the impact of medavruddhi on respiratory system for the pranava srotas is elaborated in this paper by integrative approach next now we will discuss about the pranava srotas increase in the medha dhatu causes accumulation of medha dhatu at different sites in the body therefore accumulation of medha dhatu in pranava srotas results mainly in the obstructive pathology that is avarodhajanya samprapti and produces various symptoms related to it like shwasa kasa alpya pichestite shwasa that is dyspnea cough breathlessness even on the uh, small exertion next now we'll discuss about the medavruddhi uh, medadushti the concept of medavruddhi and medadushti have some similarities in its etiopathogenesis in both the conditions medadhatvagni mandya is present that is there is decrease in the quantity and quality of tissue fire which is required for the proper uh, proper formation of medadhatu as a result of which there is quantitative and qualitative derangement of medhatu that is the quality of increases and the quantity decreases so this results in the production of medavruddhi as well as medadushti lakshane next therefore in the person with medavruddhi medadushti lakshane are also seen such as mukta alukanta shosha that is dryness of throat and mouth pipasa that is increase in the thirst nidra and tandra that is increase sleep sleep tendency and dry, uh, drowsiness increase in the medha dhatu causes accumulation of medha in srotas and produces srotasavrud it creates obstruction in the gati of vata dosh and causes vata prakop that is vitiation of vata dosh it produces symptoms involving pranava srota sthan which are mukha kantha shosha and pipasa increase in the medha dhatu also increases kapha dosh in the body kapha dosh has tamo bahulya therefore increased kapha also increases tamo guna in the body and increased tamo guna results in the nidra and tandra symptoms next now we'll see about the respiratory system 
increased may the uh, gets deposited around the neck region it creates pressure around the respiratory tract making the airway too small these compress compressed airways causes breathing difficulties at night during sleeping period this is called as sleep apnea more the amount of may the accumulated around the respiratory tract and neck more will be the compre compression of airway it may actually stop breathing for a short period of time resulting in disturbed sleep pattern as a result of small airways due to accumulated meda person will have breathing difficulties during sleep to overcome this problem body adopts the tendency of sleeping with their open mouth and person starts breathing through their mouth due to this mucous membrane gets dried out causing dryness of mouth and throat and there is increase in the thirst next now this is the conclusion part therefore as per this comprehensive view of ayurveda and modern science meda vruddhi produces a lot of symptoms in the body which directly and indirectly related with respiratory system and pranavasrotas are shwasa kasa alpe api cheshtite shwasa mukha talu kantha shosha pipasa tandra nidra modern science also describes symptoms like dyspnea cough breathlessness even small exertion dryness of mouth and throat increase in the thirst increased sleeping tendency disturbed sleeping pattern and sleep apnea thank you thank you dr archana next i would like to invite dr neelam kadwarkar for the paper presentation on the topic benefits of sornaprasham in children under the kaumar vritti panel dr are you there yes sir hello hello uh, doctor please share hello. screen doctor hello hello doctor your voice is clear doctor please share the screen uh, hello hello uh, hello hello doctor your voice is clear doctor okay sir uh, please share the screen Yes, hello doctor hello doctor do you uh, have a problem with screen sharing ha yes, sir uh, actually uh, i am in hospital just for 5 minutes don't don't And... worry doctor i will share for you okay 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 thank you so much yes doctor please start the session doctor okay thank you so much sir um, good evening everyone today is my uh, presentation topics of benefits of suvarnaprasan in children Uh, guided by Dr. Gavi Sir, HOD of uh, Kumar Bhutte Department uh, from Government Ayurved College, Nanded, and my guide, uh, Dr. Rao Sir, uh, from uh, Government Ayurved College, Nanded. Next screen, please. Hello. Ah, thank you. Uh, introduction. Uh, Suvarna Prashan. Uh, Suvarna Prashan is a unique. concept in koma bhrutya mentioned under the various lehan preparation um suvarnaprasan is the process in which gold is gold is mixed with a simple and medicated grita and ani given children in oral route it is comprehensive uh, rasayan chikitsa for physical mental and intellectual and spiritual well being of the children uh, generally aims and objective uh, the aim is to study the concept of suvarnaprasan and its benefits from uh, kashyap sahita known sahita for uh, koma bhrutya and to study the various aspects of suvarnaprasan like indications contraindications age limit uh, dose durations amount of swarna bhasma should be used and uh, mode of action of suvarnaprasan uh, now whom to give uh, first is uh, 
दूस प्रजाता मीन्स प्रीटम बेबीज पोस्टम बेबीज प्रोलॉन्ग लेबर बॉर्न बेबीज एंड एलेसियस बॉर्न बेबीज देन अल्प क्षीर जननी दुष्ट क्षीर जन्न इनएडिक्युएट एंड इम प्रॉपर लैक्टेशन देन व्याधी पीड़ित न्यूरोलॉजिकल डिसेक्स लाइक सेरेब्रल पासी देन स्लो लर्नर बेबी डेवलपमेंटल डिले एडीएचडी पेशेंट्स इम्यून कॉम्प्रोमाइज चिल्ड्रन नेक्स्ट सर प्लीज नाउ कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन द पेशंट्स हैविंग एक्यूट सीवियर इलनेस हैविंग पॉइजनिंग लाइक एक्यूट रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन एक्यूट गैस्ट्रो एंट्राइटिस यूटीआई देन लिवर किडनी डिसेज ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांट बेबीज ऑन इम्यूनो कंप्रेस इम्यूनो सप्रेस थेरपी द पेशंट हैविंग कैंसर देन मैल एब्सॉप्शन मैल एब्सॉप्शन सिंड्रोम एंड डायरिया Now, uh, in uh, Kashyap Sahita, it is written that uh, the uh, Suvarna Pasha should be used in the lehan form, not in the oral drops form, uh, because uh, the mode of action of uh, is more enhanced while using in while uh, Suvarna Pasha used in uh, lehan form. Next, please. Now uh, the form of swarna should be used in swarna prashan. The rub gold, uh, metallic gold rubbed on a uh, clean rubbing stone with water till uh, fine gold particles are released. Give after uh, then uh, uh, mixing of the honey and grita in the uh, fine particles of go uh, gold uh, to remove the causes of risk of toxicity. Then the swarna bhasma, it is more safer form of uh, swarna, uh, mostly used uh, now nowadays. Uh, then size of swarna bhasma uh, should be fifty eight nanometer for better absorption and safety. Just a past minute, huh? Uh, then the swarna vacha, then uh, the more mostly vacha. मेध्य द्रव्य शुड बी यूज इन स्वर्ण पाशन प्यूरिफाइल गोल्ड वेर इंसर्टेड इन टू द प्रोसेस अंडर गोइंग स्टीम ऑफ वचा देन रब ऑन स्टोन एंड गिव ऑन अलॉन्ग विथ मधु एंड ग्रुत देन द स्पेशल बेनिफिट इट इम्प्रूव द स्पीच ऑफ द बेबी नेक्स्ट देन कंटेंट एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स एंड इट्स प्रोपोर्शन फॉर प्रिपेरिंग थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ स्वर्ण पाशन uh it is given in uh, kashyap sahita as well as uh, uh, in a uh, uh, article of swarna prashan preterm uh, baby of preterm uh, babies uh, swarna prashan uh, comparative study now uh, in 30 ml of swarna prashan 1 uh, gram of swarna bhashma should be taken then grutha should be 100 ml and madhu will be 200 ml uh, next according to age uh, according to age and weight uh, the swarna prashan's drop should be changed uh, up to 0 to 0 to 6 month the up to 5 kg of weight the drop should be three drops and swarna bhasma uh, uh, according to the indirect 0.5 mg should be given 6 to 12 months of baby 5 to 10 uh, having weight 5 to 10 kg the drops is five drops and uh, daily requirement uh, is two drops per day Uh, swarna bhasma should be uh, swarna bhasma pointed mg uh, should be given then 1 to 5 years of age uh, weight is 10 to 20 kg then 10 drops uh, for pushya nakshatra and for daily basis 3 drops should be given uh, it contains uh, 1.67 mg of swarna bhasma now about 5 years patient uh, the weight uh, having, having weight 20 kg The drops is twenty drops, three point thirty three kg. So one of us should should be there on uh, according to the three hundred ml of, of preparation. Now schedule uh, in Kashyap Sahita there is written uh, the first dose should be give, given in at the age of uh, soon after the birth. It calls as that Jata Karma Samskar. Now up to six month daily one dose mix brain uh, for maximum brain growth. Sati daily one dose should be given. That uh, that was that was I I uh, previously said. What are the uh, daily dose of the baby according to weight and age? Now after six month monthly one dose uh, on uh, Piyush Nakshatram, Pusha Nakshatram. 
then uh, up to five years uh, rapid growth and development uh, it should also given on pushya nakshatra now 12 to 60 years of age as a rasayan therapy we can use as a suvarna prasha now time of administration uh, mostly empty stomach before meal to ensure the maximum absorption and it is proven that uh, the preterm uh, uh, the comparative study of uh, infants uh, the immunomodulatory effects of children in uh, of suvarna prashan uh, hod of uh, sorry hod of usmanabad uh, dr kai it is proven that uh, the immunomodulatory effect is more enhanced while giving an empty stomach then a uh, role of content of suvarna prashans uh, uh, it is written in kashyap sahita and as well as uh, charak sahita it is parab madhya rasayan then uh, uh, sarva vishopaham and grahapam then immunomodulatory activity free radical scavenging activity anti stress activity and analgesic activity next please now uh, the first contents we already explained that suvarna bhaspa then the next content in the suvarna prashan is grita uh, the grita as uh, told in charak sahita grita is madhya ayushya vishahara and rakshogna uh, rich source of dha uh, important for cognitivity functions and visual activity and oral brain development maintain neurotransmitter levels involved in cell signaling rich source of vitamin a d e k and butyric acid antioxidant antibacterial antiviral and antifungal activity next please now Uh, yoga vahi bruhanyahi sandhyayini antioxidants uh, now madhu uh, the third ingredients is madhu madhu is yoga vahi uh, bruhanya and bruhanya and sandhanya it having antioxidation uh, anti oxidative properties anti microbial properties that why it is used in uh, it is used as immuno modulatory effect then anti inflammatory next please Uh, as as explained in Kashyap Sahita Leha, there, um, the Swarna Prashan he, Swarna Prashan he, etad medhagni balavardanam, Ayusha Mangalyam Punyam, Rusha Varanya Graha Paham, Masat Param Medhavi, uh, Vadi Bish Chakshu uh, Dushate, uh, Shadbi Masa Shruta Dada Swarna Prashan Bhavet. Uh, as explained in Kashyap, uh, babe, after using Swarna Prashan, baby in one month, uh, it should be Param Medavi, and within six month, it should be uh, baby will be Shruta Dhara. Now uh, we can uh, uh, we can compare it in developmental uh, developmental milestone uh, of the baby according to modern science. After uh, uh, according to modern science, up to six month, uh, up to three to four months, baby can baby will respond the. Uh, mother's uh, mother's uh, voice your mother smile now uh, grasping power sharpness analyzing power recall memory before very uh, becomes very strong immune system towards this is become very powerful next next please hello hello the screen is visible yeah yeah sir now discussions of my today's presentation standardized swarna basma along with the authenticated herbs ghee ghee and honey should be used for the preparation of the swarna prashan now use of the swarna prashans all thoughts the country by its in uh, in cooperative in government scheme should be promoted by ayush can be used from birth up to 16 years of age uh, swarna basma amount should be 0.5 to 2 mg per dose as per the age now uh, conclusion uh, vaccines of modern science produces uh, immunity against specific disease swarna prashan produces non specific immunity that is more wide uh, spectrum immunity it is comprehensive rasayan chikitsa for physical mental intellectual spiritual well being of the children now swarna prashan is safe efficacious and uh, should be promoted in even children for proper uh, growth and development next please uh these are the references thank you
Thank you, Doctor. Next, I invite Dr. Ajithi Mudalkar for the paper presentation on the topic A review of Parpadi Kalpana with respect to Kravya Drisa under the Resan by CJ panel. Dr. Ajithi, are you there? Hello, Dr. Ajithi, are you there? Am I audible, sir? Yes, Dr. Audible. Yeah, Please share I the screen, Dr. Yeah, yes. Is it visible, sir? Yes, Dr. Visible. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Aditi Mudhorkar. I am from Samati Bhai Shah, Ayurved Mahavidyalaya, Pune. And the top, uh, today's topic, my topic is a review of Parpati Kalpana with respect to Kravyadras. Uh, Introduction. Rasa Shastra is a branch of Ayurveda which deals with the pharmacotherapeutics, utilization of uh, minerals, herbs, metals, and the most important uh, substance that is parat, mercury. As parat is in liquid form, so it is a strenuous to, it is strenuous to handle and on the top of that, it is highly toxic alone. To overcome the liquid state and toxicity, it is subjected to so many processes like murchana, sagando, or nirvanta, etc. Converting its liquid state into solid powder form, it is called rasabandha. Uh, Parpati is agnisthai murchit parad bandha, potabandha. In most of the Parpati Kalpas, Kajali is the primal matter, which is Guru, a heavy in nature, but after exposure to heat, that is by Agni Samskara, it attains the Lagutva and hence uh, named uh, Parpati, which accents its lightness. Because of this Lagutva property, it can be used in all disorders from pediatric to geriatric. Parpati is very mild preparation amongst other Agni Samskari preparations like Bhivagvarasai. Uh, the use of parpati was found beneficial for alleviating associated symptoms of grahani as well as various other diseases like raja ekshma kushta and gulma etc etymology parpata being masculine and by adding e as a suffix it becomes feminine that is parpati the sanskrit word parpat denotes a thin crisp wafer parpati the preparation which is thin fragile and has the appearance of th a thin crisp wafer Tajal is transported into parpat form by heating, though in practice it is used in powdered form. Rasa Tarangini also mentioned parpati, uh, parpatika, which means some um, same, but Bharat Bhaisuja Ratnakar explained parpatika as the fragments left in vessel during the preparation of parpati. So this is known with various names, parpata, parpati, parpatika. History. The description of Parpati has been used since 8th uh, century AD. Probably Nagarjuna was the first scholar to introduce Parpati. There is a mention of uh, preparation of Rasa Parpati, which is indicated for Kushtaroga, but internal use of mercury and introduction of scale preparations goes to Chakrapan, the commentator of Charak Sahita and author of therapeutic book Chakradatta. Nomenclature. Uh, when only parad and gandhak is used for uh, rasa uh, parpati, it is known as rasa parpati. Parad gandhak is mixed, mixed with any loha or dhatu. Uh, when with uh, loha basma, it is called as loha parpati. If parad and gandhak is mixed with any other koshta aushadis, that is known as bola parpati, bol, when bol is used. Depending upon the number of ingredients used, like panchamrit parpati, five kutraks, saptamrit parpati, seven drugs. Depending upon the results, like um, kushtagna parpati, used in skin diseases, kushta. Depending upon the color and quality of ingredients, like shweta parpati, white in color. Depending upon the person who prepared the parpati, Bhairavnath Parpati. Materials and methods used in uh, Parpati preparations. Loha Darvi. To prepare Parpati, Kajal is liquefied on Agni with help of Loha Darvi. In some texts, Tamra Darvis are also mentioned. Agni. It plays an import, very important role in the preparation of Parpati. Mrudu Agni is required to liquefy the Kajal. Paka karma, cooking, is done till uh, Kajali attains the pakat stage, that is Mrudu appearance. Grita, iron pan is smeared with Gogruta to prevent any adherence of Kajali with the pan and preventing the Kadali Patra from burning. It also adds Somya Guna, Snehatva quality to the Parpati. It gets absorbed in uh, to the heated Kajali through the Patra media and thus helps to regulate the biliary alignments and other Pittajanya Vadhis. 
gomaya it is used as uh, cushion for spreading kajali and to fasten the cooling of hot molten material to make the thin flakes it is rich in biliary products which get absorbed in making of parpati hence parpati is used in pittaj vadis and jaragni um, sorry jataragni mandya rogas use of fresh gomaya increases the potency of medicine it contains maximum ratio of biliary products which in turn during a preparation of parpati get absorbed in the heated kajali through the patra media and thus helps to regulate the biliary alignments or the pitta janna vadis properties of cow dung the main constituent of cow dung is debris from cell within the digestive tract and secretion from the body such as salt slubbing of animal cells and mucus feces also included undigested diet comp- uh, compromising cellulose and lignin originating from the cell wall of plants um, patra kadali patra eranda patra or arka patra are usually um, used as sandwich over cow dung kadali patra gives the kashaya property hence enhance the property of parpati use of such leaves which are highly rich in chlorophyll gets absorbed in the formulation exerts therapeutic effects on the human system especially on gi properties of chlorophyll one of the best uh, best antioxidant able to neutralize the negative effect of radic- um, radical in the body helps to prevent many degenerative diseases and maintain the body stronger chlorophyll helps cleans the body toxin methods of preparation first kajali is prepared by triturating shuddha para then shuddha gandak till it get, becomes black found powder then as per requirement of formulation of the parpati to be prepared all ingredients are mixed together and triturated then the mixture is then transferred into a iron vessel which is coated with thin layer of ghee from inside and vessel and then heated the ghee melts uh, melts and gets spread the uh, spreads over the vessel then the mixture containing kajali is poured in the vessel and heated slowly when the drug substance melts it poured on a banana leaf which is coated already with a thin layer of ghee placed over the another similarly coated leaf is placed and the pressure is applied in one direction once unilaterally on cooling on its own the upper banana leaf is removed and the parpati is collected it is finally washed with hot water to remove excess ghee dried and powder and kept in the bottle while giving a slow heat a wooden or a low shalaka is used badri kasht or khadir kasht is preferred as fuel uh, the amount of heat given determines the consistency of final product according to three types formed mridh pak madhyam pak and khar pak um rudu pak the black color of drug changes to turquoise that is mayur chandrika varna during heating the parpati form is brittle breaks without crackling sound madhyam pak the melted kajali attains the tailor consistency the parpati form is uh, crisp and breaks with a crackling sound the edges of broken parts are silvery whitish in color khar pak severe heat is is the reason for this type of parpati due to which parpati becomes dry and coarse in tradition color it becomes heavy to digest and it not recommended therapeutically patya a patya is followed follow during parpati intake kalpa prayog uh, patya is kakamachi puga phala patula adrak kadali pushpa shali dhanya godugda with sharkara a patya is amala sevan shital jal sevan shital vayu sevan krodha chinta ushna dravya tikta dravya stri sevan uh, these are the kravyadras ingredients with its gunadharma para that is shadarasatmak jantugna yogavahi gandhak rasayan ampachak and yogavahi tamra bhasma lekhak kafagna yakrut pitta stravak loha bhasma raktavardhak balya rasayan jambiri nimbu amla pachak dipak anulomak amla vetas amla ushna tikshna pachak tankan kafagna lekhak kledanashak बीड लवन क्लेदक वाता अनुलोमक एरंड मधुर उष्ण गुलम नाशक वात नाशक मरीच तीक्ष्ण उष्ण कटुदीपक पिपली स्नेहन क्लेदन योग्य वाहि रसायन पिपली मूल दीपन पाचन चव्य कटु उष्ण गुलम हर शूल हर चित्रक दीपक पाचक यकृत उत्तेजक शुंठी दीपक पाचक शूल हर चनकामल इनक्रीजेस तीक्ष्णत्व ऑफ पित्त एंड पाचक मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ क्रव्याद्रस kajali is prepared with para then kandak meet this kajali into mixture of loha and tamra bhasma transferred into iron vessel and heated next step is uh, when the heat uh, drug melts it poured on eranda eranda 
पत्र प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड इन वन डिरेक्शन वंस यूनिलैटरली परपटी इज कलेक्टेड हिट द परपटी अगेन विथ एडेड जंबेरी लेमन स्वरस जंबेरी लिंबू स्वरस एंड देन एड पंचकोलक वात एंड अम्ल विथ स्क्वाथ आफ्टर दिस ट्रिचुरेट अबव विथ टंकन एंड बिड लवन अगेन मरीच एंड चनक आम्ल एंड मेक मेक द टैबलेट्स According to Bhaisajaratnavali, with suitable anupan to the particular diseases, kravadras can be used to treat saulya, karsha, garadosha, gulma, pliha, uh, jalodar, grahani, ati sara. Those two ratti anupan sign the or takra. Conclusion: There are several types of parpati where base parath and gandhak are used, like rasa parpati, loha parpati, panchamrut parpati. As other ingredients changes the action, varies as parpati get absorbed in the body at the level of grahani dharagala. Grahani is the main action, site of action. In kravadras, after making parpati of parath uh, and other drugs like uh, tamra loha adi, uh, addition of drugs like jambiri limbu panchakola amla vetase increases pachan karma hence useful in many diseases of gi tract where the main cause of disease is agni mandu thank you thank you dr aditi next i would like to invite dr sudha hariram bote for the paper presentation on the topic pradishaya allergic rhinitate under the kai jinsa panel dr sudha are you there Uh, yes uh, am i audible yes doctor audible okay just a second okay doctor Okay. Oh, uh, is my screen now uh, visible? Yes, doctor. Screen is visible. Please start the session, doctor. Okay. Ah, uh, good evening. Myself, Doctor Sudha Hiram Bote, PG Scholar, Kai Chi Kitsa Department. I am from LKR Ayurvedic College, Gadinglas, Kolapur. Ah, uh, my guide, Doctor Viraj Shukla, he is the HOD of Kai Chi Kitsa Department. Okay. To start with, ah, uh, pratishay or uh, common cold develops because of allergy. or a mild viral infection involving nose and the respiratory passages uh, there are episodes of nasal congestion watery discharge and sneezing uh, pratishay being the main disease of the nose it has been clarified in all the ayurveda texts like uh, in charak sanhita it is explained in chikitsa sthan 8th and 26th chapter suchrut sanhita uttar tantra uh, 22nd 23rd and 24th chapter uh, bagbhat uh, sanhita uttar tantra 19th and 20th chapter ashtang sanhita uttar tantra 23rd and 24th chapter Uh, causes of pratishay uh, they can be classified into two groups that is sadhyojanak uh, hetu and kalantar janak hetu the first is sadhyojanak hetu uh, staying in a climate where the air is underneath the typical room temperature or rajo sevan that is remaining in a climate where the air is debased and loaded with allergens and microorganisms mm, and next is working in a climate where the temperature is outrageous either excessively cold or too hot the next is kalantar janak hetu consuming uh, madhur sheet and ruksha ahar uh, dravyas which can cause vitiation of all the three doshas particularly vata and kapha then next is vishamashan when there is agni mandya uh, next is talk, uh, taking incorrectly uh, treatments like dhumpan or bashpasvid without any clinical advice or uh, taking nasya chikitsa when it is contraindicated uh, samprapti of pratishya it can be explained as Uh, vata pitta kapha and rakta gets increased with their own etiological factors then the vitiated uh, vata reaches the shira pradesha uh, kapha pitta and rakta avaran of the dosh for the gati of vata and doshas get lost in the shira pradesha now this vridha vat expels out the kapha pitta and rakta through nostrils which uh, cause pratishya uh, the samprapti ghatak uh, nidan is kapha vata prakopak nidana दोष इज कफ वात एंड अल्पपित्त दुष्य इज रस एंड रक्त स्रोतस इज रस व स्रोतस रक्त व स्रोतस एंड प्राण व स्रोतस स्रोतो दुष्टि हर इज संग विमार्ग गमन एंड अति प्रवृत्ति अग्नि जाठराग्नि मांद्य एज वेल एज धातुअग्नि मांद्य दोष मार्ग हर इज शाखा रोग मार्ग इज बाह्य उद्भव स्थान इज आम पकवाशे एंड अधिष्ठान इज नासा एंड शीर 
the signs and symptoms uh, there is a headache or greatness in the head then there are abnormalities in the smell sensation that is hyposmia or anosmia then there is cough and dryness of throat there is change in voice malaise and body throb excessive thirst there is nasal obstruction and irritation in the sense of taste and throat then classification of pratishya is given as uh, charaka has uh, uh, classified uh, pratishya into vatas pittach kafaj and sannipatach Sushruta has classified the uh, pratishya into vatach, pittach, kafaj, raktach as well as sannipatach, and Vagbata has classified it into vatach, pittach, kafaj, and sannipatach. Then management of pratishya. Management of pratishya is very important because if it is not treated properly, it can cause various complications like dushta pratishya, puti nasa, nasa pak, netra rog, shwas, kas, jora, etc. Pratishya should be treated upon, depending upon its avastha. Uh, there is arm avastha and pakko avastha. Then in arm avastha, when there are symptoms like a watery discharge, change in voice, dryness of throat, excessive sneezing or headache, etc. We give treatment like Swedana, uh, Nadi Swed preferably and Dhumpana. Uh, the next is pakko avastha. When there are symptoms like yellowish nasal discharge or the previous symptoms when they are uh, decreased, then we uh, treat it as a uh, pakva avastha. Here we can give grutapana, uh, which is a panchalavana grut or vidari gandhadi grut. Then we can give svedana. We can give nasya by using anu taila or sh uh, shadabindu taila. We can give mukha abhyanga uh, with uh, panchalavana grut or pancham, panchamula grut or dashamula grut. Then we can give dhumpan uh, by vidangadi dhum or gruta saktu dhuma. Then we can give kavalagraha. Okay. There is also yogic uh, nasal cleaning uh, by Jala Neti. Among all the Shatakarmas, Neti is the best technique to purify the nasal passage or sinus etc. It is the simplest form and it is devoid of any side effects and also it is easy to perform. The technique used is the Neti pot should be filled with lukewarm saline water. It should neither be too hot uh, nor too cold. Uh, action, it rinses out the dirt and bacteria. It uh, helps to drain the dead end passages. Uh, like uh, the sinuses. So this is uh, very useful. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sudha. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Akshay, you current digger for the paper presentation on the topic Hello, parasitical and therapeutic aspect of Hyderabadha under the research Dr. Akshay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, doctor. Uh, is my screen visible, Doctor? Screen, your screen is visible, Doctor. Hello. Huh, yes. Uh, so myself, Doctor Akshay Karandikar. I am being in Muthi Bhai uh, in Department of Rasa Shastra Bhashad Jagalpana. Uh, today's topic is pharmaceutical and therapeutical aspect of Haridra Khanda. Uh, so we are. Uh, we can see these reference ingredients, uh, Rasa Panchak, Matra, Anupan, Kal, Rogadigar, Shida Pitta, Udar, the Kotha, and role of each ingredient in the formulation uh, in today's presentation. So reference, there are four references. Uh, the, the common references are in Bhaisha Jaratna, William Bharat Bhaisha Jaratna, in uh, Shida Pitta, uh, Adhikar. Uh, there is another reference in Bhaisha Jaratna, uh, which is in Kruma Rogadikar. And uh, the third one, uh, the special reference is Ayurveda Sar Sangraha. Uh, so first one we can we, uh, today uh, we are we can see that Haridra Khanda Bhaisya uh, Jaratnavali Shita Pitta first reference. The uh, the word with red color are uh, ingredients and uh, blue are quantity. So uh, the blue, uh, yellow boxes are the main ingredient Haridra Go Gurta Go Dugda and Sita Khanda. Uh, there is a botanical name part used Pramana uh, and approximate unit in. Uh, International unit gram. Uh, Haridra 8 pala, go gruta 6 pala, go dugdha uh, 1 adaka, and Sita Khanda is the Sarda Shata pala. And uh, uh, the boxes with blue color are all the Prakshap Dravas, uh, all 48 grams. Uh, these are uh, extra. So uh, the first ingredient and main ingredient is Haridra. Uh, 
सो हरिद्रा इज अ श्रोतहर कंडुग्न विषग्न रक्त शोधक वर्णे अँड लेखन द रसवीर पाक गुण दोषग्नता आर मेन्शन इन हिअर द गो घृत अँड गो दुग्ध द बोथ ऍक्ट लाईक अ बॅलन्सिंग पित्त अँड बल्य बोथ आर आजन्म सात्म्य अँड संस्कार अनुवर्तनात द खंड दॅट इज अ सीता शुगर इट सेल्फ कल्पना इज इट इज अ खंड कल्पना हरिद्रा खंड सो इट इज अ मेन इनग्रेडियंट शुंठी शुंठी मिरच अँड पिपल आर त्रिकटू इन भाव प्रकाश इट इज मेन्शन ऍज अ त्वगामय नाशन कफहर द त्वक एला तेज पत्र अँड नागकेशर आर त्री जात अँड नाग इन्क्लुडिंग नागकेशर इट इज चातुर जात इन भाव प्रकाश इट इज मेन्शन ऍज अ विषहर कफ वात रोचन वृक्ष लघु पित्त अग्नि कृत अँड वर्णे द विडंग विडंग इज अग्रे ऑफ कृमी कृमिघ्न अँड इट इट इज ऑल्सो ऍक्ट एज अ वर्ण कृमिघ्न कुष्टघ्न दीपघ्न दीपन अँड वातानुलोमन अँड शूलहर त्रिवृत इज अ मृदू विरेचन द्रव्य अँड विबंधहर द्रव्य आमलकी हरितिकी अँड बिबितिकी आर त्रिफला इन भाव प्रकाश इट इज मेन्शन ऍज अ कफ पित्तघ्न अँड कुष्टहर नागकेशर वी इन्क्लुड इन चातुर्जात मुस्ता मुस्ता इज अ रक्त प्रसादन अँड त्वगत कंडू हर द्रव्य अँड द वन इज रसकल्प लोह भस्म विच इज वलितपलित नाशक लेखन रसायन बल्य कांतिजनन विषग्न वृष्य अँड रक्तवर्धक टू अरोज हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स इच अदर शोज द रेड विथ उष्णवीर्य अँड ब्लू विथ शीतवीर्य रोगाधिकार कंडू विस्फोट दुणा नाशनम परम औषधम प्रतप्त कांचना भसो देहो भवती नान्यथा शीतपित्त उदर्द कोठान सप्ताहात एव नाशयत हरिद्रा नामता खंड कंडू नाम परम औषधम सो इट इज अ मेन औषध ऑफ अ कंडू अँड शीतपित्त उदर्द अँड कोठा मात्रा इज अ हाफ तोळा अनुपान यू कॅन गिव्ह विथ उष्णोदक और गो दुग्ध काल इज अ भोजनोत्तर काल अँड व्यानुदान काल यू कॅन गिव्ह अँड रोगाधिकार शीतपित्त उदर्द कोठ कंडू ददरू विस्फोट सो शीतपित्त उदर्द कोठ दीज थ्री डिसऑर्डर्स आर एक्सप्लेन ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर बट दे हॅव फ्यू डिफरंट कॅरेक्टर्स अँड पॉझिटिव्ह फॅक्टर्स हिअर वी कॅन सी शीतपित्त इज अ वॉटर डॉमिनंट अँड उदर्द इज अ कफ डॉमिनंट शीतपित्त हॅव्हिंग सिम्टम तो द मोर अँड उदर्द हॅव कंडू संप्राप्ती ऑफ बोथ इज अ शीत मारुत संस्पर्शात प्रदुष्टो कफ मारुतो पित्तेन सहसंभूय बहिरंत विसर्पत uh we can correlate shitapitta udarda or kotha uh, with modern urticaria uh, the pathophysiology of urticaria is urticaria is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction manifested by ige antibodies specific to uh, the eliciting substance or exposure of allergen the histamine and chemical cause inflammation and fluid to accumulate under the skin causing itchy raised uh, red or skin colored welts on the skin surface allergen are present as a food medicine and environmental factors the drug of choice mostly are antihistamine corticosteroid and anti inflammatory we today here uh, watching haridra khanda how to how it acts uh, these are the hetu puru rupa and rupa you can see hetu are aharaja hetu biharaja hetu and chikitsa mithya yog that is vamana virachan ayog uh, which is positive factor of kotha uh, puru rupa pipasa aruchi rullas देह साधा अंग गौरव रक्त रोचनता रूप ऑफ शीतपित्त उदर्द वरटी दष्ट संस्थान शोथ स कंडू तो दहुल छर्दी ज्वर विदाहवान वातादिकम शीतपित्त उदरदस्तु कफादिकम एंड कोथ रूप इज असम्यक वमन उदीर्ण पित्त श्लेष्म अंत निग्रह मंडला सिकंडूनी रागवंती चहुन द मेन इनग्रेडियंट एक्टिंग इनग्रेडियंट इज हरिद्रा अँड कुरकुमीन इज अक्टिव्ह uh principal or active uh, ingredient of a curcumin uh, curcumin is a active ingredient of haridra sorry uh, here is a pathway of curcumin uh, and degradation pathway uh, and the chart is uh, how curcumin act on a body that is anti inflammatory analgesic antiseptic antioxidative anti allergic and anti tumor the degradation derivative of 
curcumin are di uh, dihydrocurcumin tetrahydrocurcumin hexahydrocurcumin and octahydrocurcumin uh this is a main chart of curcumin how it acts uh, on a body uh, here in middle column we can see curcumin uh, the arrow going toward left uh, is not absorbed in blood the factor limiting curcumin by bio availability uh, are aqueous solubility pore absorption extensive metabolic conver conversion uh, and bio availability enhanced by the formulation like uh, nanoparticle liposome coating essential turmeric oil coating and curcumin analogs so uh, that's why as a curcumin is a lipophilic we fry curcumin in a gogruta uh, firstly uh, in a haridra kanda formulation so uptake uh, of curcumin uh, is increased bioactivity potential is high of parent curcumin and uh, as a curcumin enter in a body it uh, started degradation so piperin inhibit that the piperin is a main ingredient of marich and pipali so haridra uh, it sh it holds share of 5.63 percentage in a haridra khanda main phytochemical is curcumin uh, curcumin active component uh, polyphenolic phytochemical anti allergic anti inflammatory anti amyloid anti septic anti tumor and anti oxidative uh, it inhibit the secretion of histamine and, in and inflammatory cytokines uh, by mast cell uh, it protects from reactive oxygen species uh, act as a antioxidant uh, these are uh, they act like uh, free radicals can originate from environmental factors and can cause a tissue injury infection and initiate autoimmune processes antioxidant protect the body from damage from free radicals curcumin inhibits enzymes which participate in the synthesis of anti inflammatory inflammatory molecules of the body also curcumin has a capability to modulate the activation of t cells b cells macrophages neutrophils uh, natural killer and various pro inflammatory cytokines uh, the next ingredient is gogruta uh, it holds share of 4.2% uh, the phytochemicals are given uh, the gogruta enhances absorption of the drug orally and percutaneously increase permeability of biological membrane gives entry of formulation into cell binds toxin enhances complexion and glow of the face and body conjugated linoleic acid uh, anti carcinogenic anti allergic and anti inflammatory in property uh, as it is a shita in varia uh, cooling in energy and rasayan rejuvenating gives luster and uh, beauty the gogruta the lipophilic action of the ghee facilitate the transportation of the active ingredient of herbal origin to the target tissue and their final delivery inside the cell go dugda uh, 45 45% uh, in a overall haridra khanda uh, the main phytochemicals uh, and proteins are casein milk protein are nano carrier system for hydrophobic nutraceuticals uh, casein is a main protein uh, higher binding capacity to hydrophobic substances like curcumin uh, extracellular vesicles from cow milk enhances the oral drug delivery system and uh, it also improves the oral drug bioavailability the binding mechanism of uh, milk nano carrier system are uh, in a uh, tree diagram uh, the curcumin binds with uh, casein uh, with a self assembly uh, the sita khanda uh, it holds 35.2% of share in uh, haridra khanda if if we exclude the kheer uh, milk uh, it is a 64 to 65% age. Uh, it act like preservative the concentration of sugar uh, to act as a preservative is uh, almost approximate 66.7 percentage which is achieved in this kalpana approximately uh, viscosity enhancing agent binding agent sweetening agent make uh, palatable texture modifier bulking agent sucrose rapidly absorb and highly uh, bioavailable krico uh, uh, main uh, ingredient is a piperin uh, which is uh, in a black and long papers uh, which is potential systemic transporter of a curcumin uh, piperin uh, uh, cycle is piperin inhibit the enzymatic conjugation of curcumin unconjugated curcumin absorption portal blood circulation and in, uh, and increase the curcumin tissue retention time so uh, automatically bioavailability increases and bioefficacy increases 
the piperine inhibit the drug metabolizing uh, metabolizing enzymes stimulate absorption of stimulating gut amino acid transporter inhibit the cell pump responsible for drug elimination uh, from the cell permitting a more active form of a drug to enter the body the composition containing uh, zinziparafin sinali that is shunti alone provides the bioavailability activity in the range 30 to 75 percentage piperin and shunti uh, zinziparafin sinali uh, provides the bioavailability of drug in the range of 10 to 85 percent if piperin uh, in this uh, sticker uh, left bottom bioavailability of uh, curcumin increases by 2000 percentage if you if it binds with piperin uh, Three jat uh, plus na kejar, that is chatur jat. Uh, uh, eugenol is a uh, main phytochemical. Twak patra ela na kejar uh, contribute to the aroma and also can stimulate the secretion of saliva, act as a preservative due to their antimicrobial activity, flavoring, coloring, and especially preservative properties. Uh, it is also deepen and pachan. Trifala. Uh, trifala uh, contain gallic acid and chebulic acid. Uh, it is a bower regulator, uh, anomaloman property, tonic cleanser, blood purifier, uh, effect of uh, antibacterial agent, uh, gram negative as well as positive, uh, antifungal agent, uh, radioprotective, antioxidant, analgesic, antipyretic, and immunomodulator. Vidanga is agri of Krumigna. It contains embelin. The main ingredient in it is embelin, and which is antibacterial, anti protozoal, fungal uh, infection. Uh, analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-helminthic. Uh, next is Trivrut. Trivrut is a Mrudu Virachan uh, which gives laxative effect, antimicrobial activity, anti-inflammatory analgesic activity. Uh, maximum number of formulation uh, are used in Jora. Uh, Trivrut used in 57 uh, uh, formulation of Jora and 55 combination of Pushta. Uh, next is Musta, which is anti-inflammatory, anti-pyretic, analgesic, uh, sedative, anti-histaminic, antioxidant. And last one is a Loha Basma, uh, which is Fe2O3, 96% Fe2O3. Rasayan in action, improves immunity, act as a uh, hematinic uh, hemat agent, vitality enhancing, uh, strength promoting. Basma uh, are contains submicronic and nanoparticles which uh, increases only rapid absorption and assimilation also. Curcumin uh, decreases the cellular iron level. Intracellular iron level uh, are decreased by the curcumin. Uh, the, it is iron chelator. Uh, so iron chelation by curcumin does not alter the cellular iron uptake. So uh, if the intracellular uh, iron decreases uh, because of um, curcumin uh, consumption so we can give loha basma with it uh, so that the uh, contain uh, loha basma the conclusion is all the ingredient mostly are with kanduguna kushtaguna vishagna varanya tridosha uh, harap properties and mainly katurasa dominant uh, therefore increasing jatragni will surely lead to uh, proper formulation of a datus uh, all the ingredient mentioned above breaks the etiology of the of the skin diseases by individual and compound action uh, and share synergies with each other so it also increases cellular permeability enhances the bioavailability and plays role of carrier so it is important to review the kalpa thoroughly thank you thank you dr akshay Next, I would like to invite Dr. Karbari Sandosh for the paper presentation on the topic role of mental health in Grahani. Okay. Hello, Doctor. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, Doctor. Audible. Okay, sir. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. My name is Karvari Santosh, final year PG scholar, Department of Shalya Tantra, KVJ Ayurveda Medical College and Hospital, Sulya. The topic is role of the mental health in Grahani, that is IBS. Introduction. The word Grahani refers to the seat of Agni, which helps in the di digestion of the food. In Ayurveda classic text, Acharya have mentioned role for intake of the Ahara, Ahara Vidhi Vidana, among which Ishta Desha, Ishta Sarvopakaranam, Tanmana Bunjitam, Atma, 
abhisamikshayam are the few which are mainly related to the manasika vicharas if an individual indulges in the food without following the rule of the diet intake then he suffers from the uh, disease caused by the vishesha of bigrahani in modern science similar condition explained in the name of the ibs ibs is a gi disorder that affects the large intestine it is the psychosomatic disorder which affects the both body and the mind the manasika bhava plays an important role for manifestation of the psychic and the psychosomatic condition the causes of ibs bowel infection sibo analgesic and antibiotic use and neurochemical imbalance uh, mood gut link stress anxiety toxic effect of the mercury food addictive and the vas- vaccination and the unable expelling of the gas the sign and symptoms we can see constipation and diarrhea uh, mucus in the stool gas and bloating food intolerance anxiety depression discomfort abdomen pain and cramping uh, symptoms alleviated by the defecations the reason for increase incident in the modern era low quality of life uh, mood disorder like anxiety depression uh, physical inactivity never ending desires and the needs eating more spicy and junk food a loss of good quality sleep uh, mental disturbance due to the excess use of the electronic gadgets irregular uh, irregular frequent eating and tobacco and the alcohol the prevention and the care uh, patient education uh, spend quality time with family uh, life Lifestyle changes in the Ahara, Nidra and Brahmacharya, follow Sastavrutta, Dhinacharya and the Sadhrutas. The dietary advice, avoid like uh, fast food, junk food, dairy products, caffeine and the carbonate, drinks, smoke, smoking and alcohol. Uh, one he should do that, uh, adequate intake of the water, use of uh, takra, protein intake, use of fiber rich food like uh, isab gula and all and gluten, gluten free diet. for mental health uh, regular practice of yoga and the pranayama and meditation judicious use of gadgets adequate good quality sleep at night uh, counseling relaxation therapy avoid suppression of the natural urges uh, regular exercises the medication to correct the jataragni uh, to regulate the bowel habit to improve sleep to regulate function of the body and mind uh the discussion is uh previous study reveals that 60% of the patient with the ibs have uh, psychological problem even though the exact origin of ibs is difficult to track down uh, it is believed that uh, improper functioning of brain gut pathway may be responsible for causing the disease in the era of the modernized fast food lifestyle uh, there is a change or the irregular in diet and hygienic food habit uh, junk food diet timing and also sedentary lifestyle uh, one is always under the tremendous stress abdomen symptoms have a tendency to affect anxiety and the depression a recent study by the anxiety and depression association of america shows that even out of 10 adult are seven uh, out of 10 adults are uh, reported to uh, undergo stress and anxiety moderately every day uh, the stress is an unavoidable and existing a uh, part of our life Uh, from the previous study it was found that the prevalence of ibs was more uh, frequent in between the age group of 18 to 30 years uh, hence it is extremely important to provide a uh, psychiatric evaluation to anyone showing the ibs like symptoms particularly in young population as psychiatric symptoms can be uh, presenting symptoms in the uh, patient with ibs the conclusion healthy body creates healthy mind a healthy gut mold healthy body hence maintenance of the uh, physical as well as mental health is essential to fight against the psychosomatic disorder like grahani thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr alfia riyach sheik for the paper presentation on the topic contemporary significance of garavisha with respect to food additives under the agdhandra panel dr alfia are you there ana audible yes dr audible okay sir is my screen visible yes dr visible please start the session doctor yes sir 
Good evening, one and all. This is Dr. Alfia Ria Sheik. Uh, I am a final year MD student in Department of Agar Tantra of Sumati Bai Shah Ayurved Mahavidyalay. My guide is Dr. Manohar Khankani. He is actually of uh, Department of Agar Tantra in Sumati Bai Shah Ayurved Mahavidyalay. My today's topic of uh, presentation is contemporary significance of Garavish with special reference to food additives. Let's start with introduction. Ayurveda is one of the most ancient system of medicine in the world. The foundation of Ayurveda is based on eight branches and in those one of the division is Agat Tantra. Agat Tantra not only explains natural toxins but also gives importance to artificial toxins. Garavish is well explained in all classical and traditional books of Ayurveda. Uh, Gara is a toxic combination of substances, non-poisonous or which exerts toxic effects after interval of some time and such does not kill the patient instantly. Uh, while the effect of industrialization and commercializations are widely rapidly spreading in society, the chances of contact with toxins are uh, increasing. One of the issues is addition of food additives and preservatives to gain profit. Uh, food additives are non-nutritious substances which are added intentionally to food generally in small quantities to improve appearance, flavor, texture and storage properties. Food additives may cause cancer, behavioral problems, heart problems, etc. Aim of the study uh, is the contemporary significance of Garavish with special reference to food additives. Objectives are to study about diseases produced by Garavish to study the toxic effect of food additives. Materials and methods for the study, various Ayurved Samhitas, uh, modern textbook, published articles and information from internet are used. Classical view on Garavish. The, the Gara word is derived from root word gra with the suffix ach, which means to dilute or could be diluted, which generally indicates the liquid form. In Ayurved, Garavish is considered as one of the forms of Kritrim Vish, which gets formed by the combination of two or more than two poisonous or non poisonous drugs and ultimately affects the whole body by vitiating all the dhatus in the body. Two types of Garavisha are explained in our classics as uh, Nirvish Dravya Samyok Pritam, combination of two non-poisonous substances, example Viruddhahar, uh, which can be considered as Gara, and Savish Dravya Samyok Pritam, combination of poisonous material, which can be termed as Kritrim Vish. Features of Garavish, person who consumes Garavish becomes pale and weak, poor digestion, loss of appetite, flatulence, palpitation, edema in hand and feet, Udar Rog, Grahani, Raja Yakshma, Gulma, Dhatuk Shaya, and Fever. In dreams, he mostly sees cats, jackals, fierce animals, mungos, monkey, dried rivers and trees. See himself as without ear or nose. See himself as fair if he is dark in complexion and vice versa. Yog Ratnakar explained that the Garavish consumption shows its impact on the body after 15 days or one month of duration leading to manifestation of symptoms like laziness, heaviness, cough, dyspnea, loss of strength, hemorrhage, edema, yellow discoloration of eyes. The mode of administration of Garavish are Anna, that is food, Pan, that is drinks, Danta Kashta, that is toothbrush, uh, that are uh, nasal drops. Sadhana, that is massaging powders, curry shaker, that is medicated bathing water, anjana, that is collarium, vastra, that is braces, aduka, that is footwear. Current significance of uh, Garavisha. Most of the Garavisha Adishtans mentioned in Ayurved classics can be correlated to the source that we are using daily. Compatible drug combination or utensils accidentally or intentionally will definitely harm the consumers. The fast food, canned food, processed food, soft drinks are now poison. The alarming increase of severe diseases like cancer, stroke, heart attack, etc. can also be attributed to the effect of these poisons through our daily goods. Food additives. Chemicals added to keep them fresh or to enhance their color, uh, flavor or texture. Flavor Now, types of food additives, the different types of food additives and their use include anti-caking agents that are used to stop ingredients from becoming lumpy, antioxidants, these are
to maintain the right acid level uh, colors uh, enhance or add color humectants are used to keep food moist flavors are used to used to add flavor flavor enhancers increases the power हेलो डॉक्टर अल्फिया हेलो डॉक्टर अल्फिया कैन यू हेयर मी हेलो डॉक्टर अल्फिया आई थिंक इट इज अ नेटवर्क इश्यू Next, we go to the next presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Sonali Campbell for the paper presentation on the topic: A conceptual study of Guduja di Loha in the management of Adrak under the Kaiji Gurza panel. Dr. Sonali, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Dr. Please share the screen. Please, can you share? Yes, doctor. Please share. Please share the screen. Okay. Your screen is not visible, doctor. Uh, so please share from your side. Please display from your side. Okay, doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. doctor please start the session mm -hmm. uh, myself dr sonali kamre a final year uh, pg scholar kai chikitsa uh, my guide uh, dr pallavi muneshwar the associate professor and guide and uh, uh, my college uh, sst ayurved uh, mahavidyalay uh, sangamner ahmednagar my study is on a conceptual study of uh, guduchari loha in the management of vatrakta uh, This is an abstract. Uh, Vatrak is a common metabolic disorder. It is a grievous medical condition present in the society. It is caused by vitiated vat and the rakta. Vitiated vayu obstruct the path of vitiated rakta in the beginning and then get vitiated by the rakta. Further, the uh, complete process is known as vat rakta. It is a vat pradhan pridosha jyadi. Its major vat jyadi cause due to avaran that is occlusion pathology. Clinical features of vat rakta. ranges from mild inflammation and discoloration of skin to complete dearrangement of bodily organs depending upon its time of chronicity chronic and later stages of vat rakta are also cause complications like mount scotum murcha marma graham anguli vat rakta etc and in modern it is called as a gout and it is a systemic disease that results from the deposition of more sodium urate crystals in the tissue increased serum uric acid above specific threshold is a requirement for the formation of uric acid crystals ayurveda has described variety of herbo mineral formulation to treat vat rakta without any adverse effect so uh, guruchadi loha mentioned in the bhaisajya ratnavali Guruchadi Loha is subjected for the Vatrakta treatment in Ayurved Sara Samraha. Next, the keywords Vatrakta, Margavra, Raktava, Srota, Atherosclerosis, Peripheral Vascular Diseases, Gout, and Hyperuricemia. The keywords. Next, introduction. Gout is a chronic disease or a chronic illness. is defined as a condition which develops gradually to years because of frequent and continuous exposure to abnormal dietary lifestyle or environmental factors. It is a disorder of purine metabolism with the increased level of serum uric acid. That is, serum uric acid is more than six point eight mg per dl. Uh, the gout is defined as a pathological reaction of the joint or the periarticular tissues. 
to the presence of monosodium ure uh, urate monohydrate crystals msu that is uh, preferentially depositing in peripheral connective tissue in and around synovial joint initially favoring lower than upper limbs and especially targeting the first metatarsal phalangeal joints in the small joints of the hands and the feet my aim was to evaluate the efficacy of gudichadi loha in the management of vat rakta uh, this is review causative factors generally vat rakta arises in the person of tender physics who indulge in unhealthy food and activities person who are greatly troubled by diseases excessive walk uh, drinking wine and physical activities are more prone to vat rakta persons who involve in food and activities opposite to the ruto that is season and satmyas um, that is suitable to the body uh, types and symptoms acharya charak has described two types of vat rakta that is uttana and gambira uttana vat rakta that is superficial it is characterized by a blackish red or coppery skin with burning ses sensation stretching the piercing pain curing and contraction second is the gambira uh, vat rakta that is deep it is characterized by swelling stiffness hardness and severe pain inside blackish and coppery skin with burning sensation piercing pain curing and inflammation associated with distress and burning sensation in the stomach vata moves with force frequently in joints bone marrow as if cutting and making them crook produces limping or lameness while moving all over the body this is the san san prapti ghatak that is a injection of uh, katu tikta ruksha aranna sevan uh, by rakta dushti vat resulting in kha vaigunne in the rakta vas throatas that is um, that is block the way of vat in sandhi swelling uh, of the doshas excessive aggravations of vat doshas which result in excavation of clinical features that is vat rakta uh, that is uh, uttan and gambira this are the santrapti uh, ghatak so mm. for next slide uh, this purva roop uh, roop purva roop of vat rakta atisveda sves sparsha samarth sandhi shaitalya alasya sadana pida ko deshta nistoda spruna bheda sopti kandu sandhi रुक औषध कंडुत्वाक परुष्य सिरा दौर्बल्य खर स्पर्श श्रम रोम हर्ष शोभ श्रम वैवर्ण्य एंड गौरव ट्रीटमेंट द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वात रक्त इज द शोधन एंड द शमन चिकित्सा रक्त मोक्षण चिकित्सा स्नेहन विरेचन बस्ती चिकित्सा सामान्य चिकित्सा इज रक्त मोक्षण अकॉर्डिंग टू वागबर्ड शमन कर्म एंड लेप मस्ट बी डन रक्त मोक्षण अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइप्स ऑफ वात रक्त उत्तन वात रक्त श्रृंगी जलोक अलभु एंड प्रच्छान गंभीरा सिरा वैद्य वातज श्रृंगी पित्तज एंड रक्त दट इज जलोका फॉर कफज अलभु इज इंडिकेटेड आफ्टर दैट स्पेसिफिक मेडिसिन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एग्रीवेटेड दोषा शुड बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेड एज पर आयुर्वेद लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वात रक्त रिव्यू दैट इज गडूचा दि लो इज रिकमेंडेड इन भर्षज रत्नावली इन आयुर्वेद सहर संग्रह इन वात रक्त नेक्स्ट दिस गुडूचा दि लो कंटेंट्स गुडूची शुंठी मरीच एंड डोस हरित की आमल की विपित विडंग मुस्ता चित्र कैन लोह बसम दट इज फेरम वटी गिवन डोस इज वन वटी इज थ्री टू सेवेंटी फाइव एम जी टू टाइम्स अ डे अनुपान हनी और गुरु जी सत्व ड्यूरेशन दैट इज फोर वीक्स प्रोबेबल मोड ऑफ एक्शन द प्रोबेबल मोड ऑफ एक्शन ऑन संप्राप्ति घटक कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाय द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ गुडूचा दि लोह एज फॉलोइंग दोषा गुडूचा दि लोह फिफ्टी पर्सेंट ड्रग्स आर हैविंग वात कफ प्रॉपर्टीज एंड रिमेनिंग हैज थ्री दोषा आर प्रॉपर्टीज सो इट इज वेरी यूजफुल इन ट्रीटिंग ऑल द काइंड ऑफ विटिएटेड दोषा इट इज अनुलोमक It has analogous properties, so it is an eliminate the vegetative dosha. Dosha trichotu has the one pachan property. Majority of drugs in Gudicha di Loha has the one pachan property, so they normalizes the jatharagni and dhatuagni and dhatu nirma process, which ultimately result to dhatu gushti. Agni and nava mandagni is the main cause for vatrakten Gudicha di Loha. 
contains chitra can trick or two, which increases agni and breaks the pathogenesis of vata rakta. Srotas, vata rakta is rakta pradosha jvadi, and the cause of rakta pradosha jvadi is agni pan. Guru Chadi uh, Loha contains well defined Vipan Pachan uh, drug that is Trika 2. The name itself suggested their properties. They are Ushna Tikshna in nature and having Vipan Pachan property. With this property, they improve Agni Mandya and treat Ama Dosha. Guru Chadi Loha also contains Rasayan Dravya like Guruji Loha, Amalki, and Pipali. Guruji Sattva pacifies his Pitta Dosh and hence it is useful like in digestion, constipation, fever, gout, fatigue. Amla Churna is. Helpful in clearing away the uric acid crystals from the body. Nagarmutha Churna is very useful in treating gout conditions. Yes. Hence, it is, can be concluded that Guruchadi Loha can be considered as very useful and uh, effective uh, Ayurvedic combination in the uh, management of Vatrakta. Other references? <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Yes, next, we go to the next presentation. I would like to invite Doctor Asavari Ganabhadrao Patil for the paper presentation. On the topic Ayurvedic management of Shida Vita, a big area under the Kaiji Kusar panel. Doctor, are you there? Yes. Okay, Doctor, please share the screen. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Yes. My name is Asavari Patil. From Institute Late Kedari Redekar Ayurvedic Medical College, Gadinglas, guided by Vaidya Sadgonda Patil and Vaidya Viraj Shukla. My today's presentation topic is Ayurvedic Management of Shita Pitta Arcaria. Introduction Shita Pitta is one of the disorders which caused by Viruddha Ahar 7, in which Vat and Kapha are two doshas which are primarily distributed due to dosha prakopa khetu and in combination with Vat Pitta dosha. It creates swelling, redness, itching over the skin. Vata dosha is dominant in Shita Pitta. Shita Pitta shares similar symptomatology and cognitive factors urticaria. The modern medicine provides temporary symptomatic relief and patients have to take medicines for a long time, which may be having some side effects. In Ayurveda, the sequential administration of Shodhan therapy and certain Shaman Yogas is quite beneficial. Here we discuss about the easy methods for lowering the incidence of Shita Pitta by using Ayurvedic management. In Ayurvedic text, only in Madhav Nidan, Shita Pitta was explained. In Sanita, causes given for Shita Pitta are follows. Lavan, Katurasa, Shukta, Arnal, Sarshap, Ati Seven. Exposure to cold environment, wine, water, Diva Swap, Asamyak Vaman, Keta Dansha, and Kumi Sansarva. Now the Samprapti of Shita Pitta. Due to improper Agni and irregular food habits, formation of arm, which vitates the Tridoshas and Strotorod by Sangha and Vimar Gaman. Dosh Dusha Samurchana commencing in Amashad, which gets Stanashansre in a twak and which creates the Shita Pitta. Now the Chikisa. Uh, in Chikisa, there is three phases. First, Alpa dosh avastha, Madhya dosh avastha, and Prabhuta dosh avastha. In Alpa dosh avastha, Langan uh, is uh, useful. In Madhya dosh avastha, Langan with Pachan, and Prabhuta dosh avastha, Shodhan. In Shaman Chikisa, Parat, Swarna, Loha, Tamra, Abra, Kasis, Gandhak, Gairik, Prava are the major mineral drugs that have action on Shipita. In medicines, Lagusu Chakaras, Arugya Vardini Vati, Haridra Khanda, Maham Manjashtadi Kwat, Sutta Shekara Ras, Chatur Bujaras, and Eladi Tail for local application is very useful. In Shodhan Chikisa, uh, Vaman and uh, Virechan is given. In Vaman, MS is with decoction of Patul and Arishta. And in Virechan, purgation with decoction of Trifra Gugur and Pipali. In other Chikisa references uh, in different Sanitas, in Charak Sanita, Udarta Prashaman, Mahakashai, Katu Tail, 
मुस्तादी चूर्ण इन सुश्रुत संहिता एलादिगण इन चक्रदत्त विसरपोक्ता अमृतादिक वाद अग्निमंथ मूल घृत शुष्क गंभारी फल आफ्टर बॉइलिंग विथ मिल्क वैशज रत्नावली यष्टादिक वाद यो इन योग रत्नाकर वर्धमान पिपली एंड वर्धमान लशुन प्रयोग पथ्य आहार विहार एंड अपथ्य आहार विहार इन शीतपित्त इन पथ्य आहार विहार जीर्णशाली जांगम मास त्रिफला मधु मुदयुष कुलत्तयुष उष्णोदक कर्कोटक शाक कारवल्लक शाक एंड मुलक युष अघीवन इन अपथ्य क्षीर विकरणी छर्दी निग्रह इक्षु विकरणी दिवास मत्स्य पूर्व एंड दक्षिण दिशा पवन अनुप उदक मास स्नान नवीन मध्य एंड आतप सेवन एंड कंक्लूजन इन मॉडर्न साइंस देर इज वास्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अर्टिक एरिया बट रिकर ऑफ In modern science, there is vast treatment of urticaria, but इन मॉडर्न साइंस देर इज वास्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अर्टिक एरिया बट इज कॉमन इन वेरी मच केसेस शिटिता इज कॉमनली इन कंटैक्ट टू अक विकार क्लिनिकली इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस आयुर्वेदक मैनेजमेंट लीव इन शिटिता शोज सिग्निफिकंट रिजल्ट एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर Next, I would like to invite Dr. Stanhal Kantharam Gadke for the paper presentation on the topic "Study the Efficacy of Aragoda Falmaja Falmaja Kauda in the Management of Dysentery with Respect to Infected Wound" under the Shelly Rendra panel. Dr. Stanhal, are you there? Hello, Dr. Stanhal. Hello, Dr. Stanhal. Can you hear me? Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Doctor, your voice is breaking, doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, doctor, your voice is breaking, doctor. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, doctor. Now, now your voice is clear, doctor. Please share the screen. Okay, sir. My screen is visible, doctor. Not visible, doctor. Can you share, sir? I am unable to share. One minute, doctor. One minute, doctor. Okay. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Hello, doctor. Please unmute and start the session, doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, my topic is study the efficacy of aragvat phalabajak vat in the management of dushtavran with special reference to infected wound next slide sir myself dr snehal ghadge pg scholar of shalya tantra department at sbnst ayurved college rahuri my guide is kanchan borkar and hod is anand kumar shekokar next slide sir my title is clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of aragvat phalabajja kashay dhavan in the management of dushtavran with special reference to infected wound next slide sir 
abstract is wound is the break in the integrity of skin or tissue often which may be associated with disruption of structure and function it is co correlated with the dushtavran in ayurved after injury healing is a natural phenomenon and it continues in sequential manner until the formation of a healthy scar for the management of dushtavran acharya shishrut incorporated number of drugs broadly classified in vran shodhan and vran roopar it need to find out a rational and optimal healing compound for the wound management in better way acharya charak has stated the shodhan is a perfect treatment for dushtavran acharya acharya shishrut has stated the kashaya of aragvadhi dravyas in the management of dushtavran infected wounds are more complicated to heal generally requires a hospitalization but application of aragvad phalamaja kashaya in parasurgical process which don't need a hospitalization also it is more effective multi purpose economically affordable and easy to use next slide sir introduction is as a scar of wound never disappears even after complete healing and its imprint persists life long it is called as wound wound is the break in the integrity of skin or tissue often which may be associated with the disruption of structure and function there are six types of run according to acharya shishrut chinna bhinna vidak shata pichita and grushta all these above sadya vrana which get converted in dushta vrana if not treated properly within 7 days there are many measures to create favorable condition for wound healing such as use of antiseptic solutions and many topical de sloughing and debridement agent which promote healing but there are certain drawbacks of these agents like damage to healthy granulation tissue local skin etc since a time immortal it has been an ongoing process to search out better remedies in other to overcome the previous drawbacks acharya charak has stated that shodhan is the perfect treatment for dushtavran acharya shishrut has stated the kashaya of aragvadadi dravyas in the management of dushtavran next slide infected wounds are more complicated to heal generally requires hospitalization but application of aragvad phalamaja is a parasurgical process which don't need hospitalization also it is more effective multi purpose economically affordable and easy to use also there are no chances of allergies infected wounds are more complicated to heal generally requires hospitalization but application of aragvad phalamaja is a parasurgical process which does don't need hospitalization aragvad phalamaja kashaya is a plant med uh, origin medication by the क्वाद प्रोसिजर डिस्क्राइब बाय शारंगधर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर मटेरियल एंड मेथड केस रिपोर्ट अ थर्टी फोर इयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट केम विथ अ नॉन हिलिंग अल्सर इन अवर इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ एस बी एनिस्टे राहुरी history of two months back he he was accidentally injured by steel jar the wound is formed over dorsum of the right foot he was treated with the povidone iodine ointment by local doctor but failed to respond after few days ulcer got infected with freely flowing pus no history of any previous illness or any drug allergy patient was diagnosed with dushtavran local examination done and seen infected wound measuring about 5 by 5 by 0.5 cm with purulent discharge next slide my reference of drug is dushtavran eshu kartavya mrudham chadascha shodhanam visheshanam tatha aharam shoni tasya cha mokshanam kashayam rajyukshado sursado cha dhavanam tayorena kashayena telam shodhanam ishrate kshar kalpena va telam kshar dravyeshu sadhitam shushru chikitsa 28688 my dravya is arogvat family name is leguminosi latin name cassia fistula रस इज मधुर वीर्य शीत विपाक मधुर गुण गुरु मधुर स्निग्ध एंड प्रयोजांग इज फलमज्जा नेक्स्ट मै ड्रग फॉर्म्युलेशन डिटेल्स आर अकोर्डिंग टू शारंगधर संहिता वन पार्ट of aragvad phalamaja plus four part of four part of water is taken and boiled till one fourth part is remain 125 mg aragvad phalamaja is taken 125 g aragvad phalamaja is taken one half liter of water added in phalamaja and taken for boiling till one fourth part is remained hence 125 ml of decoction prepared then after it being prepared sukhoshna kashaya used for dushtavran dhavan next my route of drug administration is duration is 15 days call is uh, each day morning dose is once a day and route of drug administration is local application on wound that is dhavan 
नेक्स्ट ट्रीटमेंट इज एवरी मॉर्निंग द वूड वॉज क्लीन विथ फ्रेशली प्रिपेर्ड लुकवॉर्म आरोगत फलमज्जा कशा है आफ्टर क्लीनिंग ड्रेसिंग वॉज डन विथ स्टराइल गॉज एंड बैंडेज and the results are the clinical features of dushtavran were resolved at the end of the first week and the healthy granulation started the wound was healed completely at the end of second week leaving a healthy scar with the follow up for one month of the period the patient has shown no signs of recurrence these are some images i have taken on first day seven day and 15 day next discussion effect on vrana vedna pain and tenderness was completely reduced at the end of treatment throbbing pain which was present at the beginning was completely reduced at the end of first week as the purulent discharge decreased because of shodhan property of aragvat phalamajja effect of vrana vedna varna uh, effect of vrana gandha <laughs> thank you sir effect of vrana varna changes in the color occurred when dushtavran got converted into shuddha which was due to elimination of doshas out of body at the end of first week slough was completely reduced and color of flower become pinkish and healthy granulation tissue appeared effect on vrana strav at the end of first week the purulent discharge from the wound com completely stopped the this made due to shodhan and ropan property of aragvat phalamajja next discuss uh, effect on vrana gandha foul smell present at the beginning of treatment was completely reduced at the end of first week uh, smell was due to the pus and the vrana vrana becomes shuddha and decreases effect on vrana akruti on the day of 15th vrana was completely healed this may due to the vrana shodhan property of aragvat which proved ideal environment for the wound healing next slide sir conclusion hence dhavan aragvat phalam dhavan vit aragvat phalamajja kashay is the new substitute for the dushtavran it does the action of shodhan and ropan to it is simple opd level procedure relatively painless can do without anesthesia vrana dhavan will remove only unhealthy granulation and slough so wound size does not increases next these are the references thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr pradeek jangilwar for the paper presentation on the topic analysis of various sharasutras in the management of phagantar under the shalyandra panel dr are you there hello dr pradeek are you there hello yes doctor please share the screen doctor okay thank you good evening everyone sharing the screen so sorry uh, i'm unable to share my screen uh, will you please help me in that okay doctor mm. one minute mm. doctor can you send me your ppt to my whatsapp number i will call which number sir okay. i will i will i will message you okay 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 doctor next i would like to invite dr priyanka for the paper presentation on the topic shodhini varthi in shleshmala yoni vyavat dr priyanka are you there yes good good evening everyone
My screen is visible, sir. Yes, doctor. Screen is visible. Please start the session. My topic of paper presentation is uh, Shodhani Varthi in Shleshmalai Univapath area. Myself, Dr. Priyanka Nanabad Devapote. Uh, my guide is uh, Dr. Chaitana Kulkarni and HOD is Dr. Madhuri Bhargad from SVNST Department. Department of Prasutan Trans Thiroga. Univapath is a complication of various disorders of the genetic tract ranging from uh, Vulva till the uterus. Local infectious conditions like vulva genetics have also been described to stanic chikis among the various treatments modalities described for your new apath. The emphasis to stanic chikis is noteworthy. The mode of approach through our local route with or without oral treatment is with the aim to give instantaneous relief to the suffering from women. Suffering women, Varthi Prayog is one such intervention among such uh, among which Shodhani Varthi has specially mentioned in the context of. Fleshmala Yoni Vyapat, Varaha Varthi, Pitta Varthi, Arka Varthi, Pipladi Varthi have been explained under the same. The symptoms which are seen in the stubborn vulva genetics conditions need effective treatment procedures. They have thickness properties and are also copper in nature. Of these drugs have potent antimicrobial actions and are used in the treatment of Charma and Kushtaroga. The use of a topical medicine like Varthi will act directly vaginal mucosa and enable azure and target specific action. Therefore, it helps to combat the local disease causing agent and st simultaneously straighten the vagina well as, well as prevent recurrence. Introduction. A healthy woman is a promise of healthy family and a woman's health status is a complex arrangement controlled by a wide range of factors aided by her reproductive system. The significance of a healthy yoni has been asserted in various phases of woman's life from puberty to marriage to childbirth and thereafter. The word yoni has been measured in with reference to female reproductive system at various levels, especially with reference to the vagina, uterus, and sometimes the reproductive tract as a whole. It has been observed that the reproductive tract infections among females visiting gynecological outpatient departments are as high as 82%. Some are identified and treated, whereas most are overlooked. Infections pertaining to the yoni are a distressing problem for women irrespective of age or socioeconomic status. It hampers their day-to-day -day chores and most importantly makes them to go through the mental trauma of fear, guilt and depressions, disturbing their interpersonal relationships. Most importantly, most importantly, mar marital life. Most women gradually go into isolation and the entire family is put to stress. An instant relief of symptoms is required for such women along with an overall improvement in the general condition of the yoni. Fleshmala yoni vapat. Fleshmala yoni vapat is described as a condition where symptoms of pitchil, slimy, and shital, srav, goldisha, from the vagina is seen associated with kandu and Mandar, Mandaruja, along with Arthodusti and Pandu, it is one of the 20 univapat, which is caused by vitalization of Kavdusha. Sleshmalaya generally refers to Sleshmayukta. The word Sleshma can be understood as something uh, that which covers or embraces, referring to the degree of coating that may be created. Pichila is defined by Hemadri as that which has the ability to coat. Kandu is defined as pathological condition that causes pain and distress to the person. Pandura, Pandora refers to color, which is a most white or resembling yellowish white. These features can be correlated to infectious, infective leukorrhea caused by various pathogens like Candida, Trichomonas, and Gardenella, which constitute the majority of vaginal infections in females. Excessive or abnormal vaginal discharge associated with vulvar pruritis and pain in the vulva or lower abdomen is seen in, in, in these conditions. The pathogen can be differentiated by a certain clinical criteria as well as microscopy. Vaginal flora. The vagina is a delicate system characterized by changes throughout life. The vaginal wall is lined by stratified sarcomas epithelium. This epithelium does not contain any glands, but the secretion is formed as a result of constant desecramation of superficial epithelial cells, which liberates the content glycogen. It is acted upon by the uh, daughter lens bacilli to produce lactic acid, which maintains the pH of the vulva, vagina. The acidity keeps varying 
with the estrogen response glycogen formation and breakdown process by the norelin bacilli as well as certain enzymatic reaction any undue changes in this in this ph physiological and pathological favors the growth of pathogens thereby causing infective leukorrhea the vagina is usually self sterilizing in women unhygienic practices variations and in the dietary activities or systemic Variations, delivery or coitus may disturb the vaginal flora, leading to vaginitis. The cuff hara, the cuff cuff car ahar food that increases cuff, which is mainly ab abshendi, using or water. Madhur, amla lavan ras pradhan favors the starch or carbohydrate production, which further elevates the acidity and favors the growth of candida or an organism that survives in acidic pH. the candida cells which are present in 20% of the vagina undergoes pathological in intensification causing sympt symptomatic vulvo vaginal candidiasis this condition is characterized by intense pruritis and cardiovascular discharge it has the tendency to to recur and it if left uh, at, at unattended may disturb the vaginal flora to a greater extent thereby causing other pathogens to thrive which may further way way of way of way for ascending infections stani chikitsa in ayurveda the concept of stani chikitsa has been mentioned in the context of yoni vapat chikitsa under various instances thereby highlighting the significance of a local root of approach to the local vaginal pathology apart from the out routine treatment options in this in the types of stani chikitsa commonly used are yoni dhavan prakshalan पिच्चू वर्ती लेप धुप्पन योनिपुरन उत्तर बस्ती एंड शारकर्म अमंग देम वर्ती कल्पना डज नॉट नीड एनी स्पेशल प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर्स और इंटेंस सुपरविजन ड्यूरिंग इट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड द पेशेंट कैन एडमिनिस्ट्र इट हर सेल्फ विदाउट एनी एड दस मेकिंग इट एन एक्सेप्टेबल ट्रीटमेंट मॉडलिटी बोथ फॉर द फिजिशियन एज वेल एज द पेशेंट unfortunately it is not widely practiced going to lack of availability of these vartis in a ready to use form and also the fear of patient complaints as well as probable side effects this validated the need to initiate further research work on this medicine form in this field of stri roga shodhani varti yoni shodhani yoni varti yoni varti has been indicated as the first line of treatment in the context of sleshmala yoni vapat the term samshodhani samshodhani varti has been especially used to refer to these weeks the varti that have been described in arvara varti arka varti piplaji varti yoni varti kalpana has been explained under the category of pal varti the method of preparation has been explained differently in each varti depending on the binding materials used repeated bhavana followed by rolling it into a weak form is is the common description available the the varti has to be prepared in tarjini parmana that is the circumference of and length should be that of the index finger of the subject it is later sun dried and is inserted preferably with the help of brut tel drug preparation uses certain aushadi or a cloth to hold it in it, it in place varti can be of two types those that dissolve and those not those that no don't those that don't are bound tight and a part of it projects outside with the help of which it can be removed recent for pharmacological advancements include vaginal pastries and oils varha pitta varti a sterile cloth should be subjected to repeated bhavana with varha pitta this cloth A cloth has to be rolled in it into V K Arkavarti Arkashira, Yau Churna and Sandhav have to be done, Bhavna, and made into Varti form. Pipli Adivarti Pipli Marich Kushta Shat <coughs> Shidava Mash and Sandhav should be given repeated Bhavna or and made into Varti doses. It can be understood from the. Uh, commentaries of charak and ashtang sangraha that the drug has to be administered madhur madhur mur 
Shanam Dharan who the has been measured in the context of Arka Shodni Varti. The commentary says that the Varti has, should be uh, should not be kept in the vagina for a longer time as the drug has Tishna properties which can cause undue complication. Removal of washing, removal and washing of the area with lukewarm water has been mentioned for similar reasons. Therefore, Varti has to be kept in the vagina for maximum one hour. Likewise, cert likewise certain authors opinion that the Varti can be used in for two to three times in a day and each time it has to be washed with what hot water. Certain others have not specified regarding in the repeated admission. The doses be, be decided by the physician depending on the chronicity of the disease this is and the cooperation of the patient to the therapy. Discussion. Shodhini Varti has been measured as one of the prime treatment Primary treatment procedures of Sleshmala Univapa, the drugs are cut to Pradhan, which causes Shoto Shod, Shod, Shodhan, clearing, and also are Kafa. Kafa. Vara Pitta, bile has the Kafara action. It is chiefly used in Charma Roga and Kushta, thereby proving its effectiveness in local diseases. Arkakshir is known, uh, known to have. Antimicrobial activity useful in cutan uh, cutaneous diseases. Extract and essential oils of pipli is said to have known antifungal and antibacterial activity. Marriage as antifungal, antimicrobial, lipo lipolytic actions. Skushta has pharmacological activities like antimicrobial and anti inflammatory. Shatawa has anti inflammatory and anti hyperlipidemic actions. Marsh has antifungal, antibacterial, and hypolipidemic actions. Sandalone has sukshma properties which will help the easier absorption of the drug. The absence of any other binding agents require repeated bhavanas to attend the samyak lakshana. Therefore, the sukshma ta is attended, which provides quick absorption with more bioavailability. The local application of dried worthy acts as a hygroscopic substance, thereby providing quick relief in symptoms of vaginitis when compared to oral treatment. Tajin Pramana provides more area of effect, taking into consideration the anatomy of the vagina. This also indicates that, that the action uh, co co concentrates more on extent of the contact area of the duct. The creamy presence needs to be removed, which is done by prakriti. Vighatak Chikisa of these tictional drugs. Candid being a stubborn organism requires such effective intervention. Therefore, in the vaginal root of medicine, uh, medicine administration of Ayurveda, it is not just a topical application, what is it intended, but a method of medication that clears the restores the vaginal flora, thereby rightly giving it, it the name Shodhani Varti. It also helps us sustain the relief for a longer duration by improving the sterilizing ability of the vagina, thereby providing a shodhana, shodhana effect. Conclusion, Yoni Varti can be considered as a safe and convenient option in conditions of vaginitis, especially in conditions dominated by kapha dosha. It can help in providing spontaneous relief to the patient, which becomes the need of the hour. Thro oral medications can help the accelerate the treatment. The intense pruritis and irritating discharge needs to be tackled effectively it, as it hampers the everyday life of the woman. Yoni Varti helps to clear the vagina and also provides the opportunity to recreate the optimum vaginal health. These are the references. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Alfia for the presentation, continuation of presentation. Dr. Alfia, are you there? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, Dr. Audible. Okay, sir. Is my screen visible? Yes, Dr. Visible. Good evening, one and all. I am Alfia Sheikh, a final year MD student of Abhat Tantra. My guide is Manohar Khantane. My topic is contemporary significance of Garavish with special reference to food additives. 
introduction ayurveda is one of the most ancient system of medicine in the world the foundation of ayurveda is based on eight branches and in those one of the divisions is agatantra agatantra not only explains natural toxins but also gives importance to artificial toxins garavish is well explained in all classical and traditional books of ayurveda gara is a toxic combination of substances non poisonous of which exerts toxic effect after an interval of some time and such does not kill the patient instantly while the effect of industrialization and commercializations are widely and rapidly spreading Excuse in society me, yes sir hello yes doctor, sir your screen is not moving doctor uh, okay one second sir okay okay doctor okay sir uh Gara is a toxic uh, combination of substances, non-poisonous, of which exerts toxic effect after an interval of some time, and such does not kill the patient instantly. While the effect of industrialization and commercialization are widely and rapidly spreading in society, the chances of contact with toxins are increasing. One of the issues is addition of food additives and preservatives to gain profit. Uh, food additives are non-nutritious substances which are added intentionally to food, generally in small quantities, to improve appearance, flavor, texture, and storage properties. Food additives may cause cancer, behavioral problem, heart problems, etc. Uh, the aim is to study the contemporary significance of garavish with special reference to food additives. Objective is to study about the diseases produced by garavish to study the toxic effects of food additives. materials and methods for the for the study ayurved sahita's modern textbook published articles and information from internet are used uh, now classical we want garavish the garavad garav word is derived from root word gra which with the suffix ach which means to dilute or could be diluted which generally indicates the liquid form uh, in ayurved garavish is considered as one of the form of prithram vish which gets formed by the combination of two or more than two poisonous or non poisonous drugs and ultimately affects the whole body by vitiating all the dhatus in the body two types of garavish are explained in our classics as a uh, nirvish dravyam sayog kritam combination of two non poisonous substances example viruddhahar which can be considered as gar and uh, savish dravya samyog kritam a uh, combination of poisonous materials which can be termed as kritram vish features of garavish person who consumes garavish becomes pale and weak poor digestion loss of appetite flatulence palpitation edema in hand and feet udar rog grahani raji akshma gulma dhatukshay and fever in dreams he mostly sees uh, cats jackals fierce animals mungus monkeys dried rivers and trees sees himself as uh, without ears or nose sees himself as fair if he is dark in complexion and vice versa Yog Ratnakar explained that garavish consumption shows its impact on the body after 15 days or one month of duration, leading to the manifestation of symptoms like laziness, heaviness, uh, cough, dyspnea, loss of strength, hemorrhage, edema, yellow discoloration of eyes. Modes of administration are anna, pana, danta kasta, kashaya, nasya, dhuma, abharana, anulepana, utsadana, parisheka, anjana, vastra, saya, and paduka. current significance of garavish most of garavish adhishthans mentioned in ayurved classics can be correlated to the resources that uh, that we are using daily so any form of incompatible drug combination or less potent toxins that may get into our daily utensils accidentally or intentionally will definitely harm the consumers the fast food canned food processed food soft drinks are now accumulated with one or other form of poison the alarming increase of severe diseases like cancer stroke heart attack etc can also be attributed to the effect of these poisons through our daily goods food additives uh, food additives are chemicals added to food to keep them fresh or to enhance their color flavor or texture they may include food coloring flavor enhancer or a range of preservatives the types of food additives there are different types of food additives and their uh, uses include like anti caking agents is used to stop ingredient from becoming lumpy antioxidants used to prevent food from oxidizing or going rancid artificial sweeteners is used to increase the sweetness emulsifiers are used to stop fats from clotting together 
uh, food acids are used to maintain the right acid level level colors are used to enhance or add color humectants are used to keep food moist flavors to add flavor flavor enhancers are used to increase the power of a flavor foaming agents used to maintain uniform aeration of gases in food mineral salts are used to enhance texture and flavor preservatives stop microbes from multiplying and spoiling the food thickeners and vegetable gums are used to enhance texture and consistency stabilizers and foaming agents are used to maintain uh, even food dispersions flour treatment improves baking quality glazing agents are used to improve appearance and can protect food Gelling agents are used to alter the texture of foods through gel formation. Propellants are used to help propel food from a container. Raising agents are in used to increase the volume of the food through the use of gases. And bulking agents are used to increase the volume of food without major changes to its available energy. Now, some commonly used food additives and their toxic effects. Uh, first is the sodium nitrate. It is used in processed meat to stop bacterial growth. Uh, which leads to methemoglobinemia. Uh, then the second is ADA, that is azoid carbonamide, which is used as a whitening agent in cereal flour and as a dough conditioner in bread baking, which causes skin irritant. Uh, occupational exposure causes irritation of eyes and respiratory tract. Asthmatic lung uh, reaction reduces lung function and allergic rhinitis. Uh, then there is BHA, that is butylated hydroxyneazole. Uh, used as antioxidant and preservative in food and food packaging, uh, which leads to skin reactions. Then uh, BHT, that is uh, butylated hydroxytoline, used as an antioxidant and preservative in food, which causes allergic reactions. Then uh, sulfites, they are used as preservative and an antioxidant, which causes dermatitis, uh, urticaria, flushing, uh, hypertension, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Then there is propylene glycol, it is used as uh, used for thickens dairy product and salad dressings causes cns toxicity hyperosmolarity uh, hemolysis cardiac arrhythmia scissor agitation and lactic acidosis then msg that is monosodium glutamate uh, it is used in commercial food which causes obesity metabolic disorders neurotoxic effects detrimental effects on the reproductive system Refined vegetable oil are used as a preservative which causes heart diseases and cancer. Sodium benzoate is used as a food preservative, causes urticaria, asthma, rhinitis, and anaphylactic shock. Aspermate is used as an artificial sweetener in soft drinks, causes dizziness, headache, blurred vision, stomach problems, carcin carcinogenic effects. Then TBHQ, that is T-butyl hydroquinone, used as an antioxidant in fats and oils, uh, which may lead to vision disturbance. Discussion, uh, due to changing lifestyle, people are exposed to one or other kind of poisons in their day-to-day -day life. The exposure in form of food and drinks is high due to the fast life and changed dietary habits. This concept can be well correlated with Garavish explained in the classical book of Ayurveda. Garavish concept is vast and can be applicable in the elimination aspect also. The treatment principle mentioned in Garavish can be made applicable in this contemporary condition. Education, public awareness, activities should be conducted to make people aware of the possible food additives they are exposing through their daily dietary intake and their toxic effect. Eating organic and whole food may also help to reduce the risk following dinacharya, rutucharya and seasonal evaluation of doshas as per Ayurvedic classics may be beneficial. Conclusion, Varavish is a vast concept mentioned in the Ayurveda classics, which can be compared to the source of exposure of toxins in food in form of food additives throughout through our daily food intake. People are least aware of toxins they are exposing in day-to-day -day life through various foods and drinks. The holistic approach of Ayurveda and its unique fundamental principle on one hand and the safe nutraceutical remedies of Ayurveda on the other, if pulled to mainstream of world medicine of today, it can bring a big possible revolution to the quality of healthcare for the suffering humanity over world. Hence, applying basic principle of Garavish from the treatment as well as from preventive aspect by enhancing the immunity, the main goal of Ayurveda can be achieved. These are the references of my uh, paper presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Alfia. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Monika Damodar Paddwal for the paper presentation on the topic Role of Ayurveda in Management of Kabaji Sleeper, a case study. Dr. Monika? Yes, sir. 
please share the screen, Doctor. Yes, Mr. My screen is visible, sir. Not visible, doctor. Yes, doctor. Okay. Now screen is visible, doctor. Okay. Thanks. Uh, myself, Monica Ramoth Padwa, Kaichikisa, PG scholar, the department called Kaichikisa, uh, Sainarath Mahavidale. My topic is role of Ayurveda in management of copper slippers, a case study. Graduated by Vedha Anaya Patrika Ma'am, a student professor, department of Kaichikisa. Introduction, uh, WHO classified lymphatic filariasis, also known as infantasis, as a, a neglected disease of poor. It is common among poor people who live in an unhygienic condition, such as slums or coastal regions, where water cell housing and floating, uh, floating vegetations are common. 120 million people living in 81 trop uh, tropical and uh, subtropical countries of the world are infected with lymphatic filariasis. Schlippert, a disease described in Ayurvedic text, has much resemblance in filariasis. According to the Ashtanga Sangrakar, Shilavat Padam Shlipadam. Lake which become cutting like Shila, it's called Shlipad. According to Acharya Sushrut, Shlipad is usually uh, confined, uh, uh, confined to legs and hands and more incidence is in area where old rainwater remain stagnant for a long period of time. Acharya explains three types of Shlipad, Vata Shlipad, Pitta Shlipad and Kapha Shlipad. Case study, a 48 years old female visited our OPD with complaints of warm path cutting shod, non pitting edema, warm path uh, gavrauta, the heaviness in left leg, and uh, chakraman kashtata, unable to walk properly. History of present illness, uh, patient having above symptoms since eight months. According to her symptoms, patient was diagnosed with kapha slippers. She has taken other pathy treatment for eight months but was not satisfied, hence, uh, dropped the treatment meanwhile. Past history, no significant past history and surgical history. Family history, no relevant family history. Ashtavit Pariksha, Nadi 78 per minute, uh, Mala Samyak, Mutra Samyak, uh, Jiva Sam, Shabda Prakrut, Sparsha Shita, Druka Samyak and Akriti Madhyam. Trivat Pariksha, Darshan, Vam Pad, uh, Prapad Pradeshi Shoda, Sparshan, Kathi, Kathin, Khara and Shita Sparsha. Prashna, no stream. Local examination, non pitting edema over dorsal aspect of foot and left leg. Measurement, dorsal aspect of foot 12, uh, 12 inch, uh, ankle joint region to 14 inches, and middle calf region uh, 16 inches. Personal history, Hetu, Kafa Vardak Ahar, uh, Idli, Dosa, and Dadi 7, Dushi Jal 7, lives in slum area, fish uh, twice a week, divas of uh, 3 hours, and Ratro Jagran. Samprapti, Hetu 7. Kafa dominant Tridosh Prakop, uh, Kafa Dushti, uh, uh, Kafa Ashtra Samandashtra, Rasa and Mounsi Medha Dushti, Pitta Dushti and Raktava Sruta Dushti. Kafa Dushti causes Rasa Sruta Dushti, Mounsi Sruta Dushti and Medha Sruta Dushti. Due to Sangha, uh, derange of uh, Prakrut Jati and uh, Vimar Gaman, Adhubha Gaman of Prakopit Dosha, affect Toka Dhatu, Ashtra in Pada. In course of time, uh, Shofa turn hard like consistency and sleep. Samprapti Ghatak, Dosh, a Kafa Pradhan, Tridosh, Dusha, Rasadhatu, Raktadhatu, Mamsadhatu, and Medadhatu, a Srotas, Rasava Srotas, Raktava Srotas, Mamsa Srotas, and Medava Srotas, Adishtam Tvaka, Srota Dushti, Sangha, and Vimargaman, Sabhav Chirkari, Roka Marga Bahia, and Vektastan Vam Pada, Materials and Methods, Type of Study, Single Case Study. Authorized Ayurvedic classical texts were used as a source of material like Charak Samhita, Sushra Samhita, and Ashtanga Rudai. Websites and various research articles, reference books, modern books on filariasis, and Center of Study AM Sayavad Mahavidyalaya Sayam. Treatment In view of Sampra Prikatan, following treatment was planned Am Pachan, Kafagna, Medhugna, and Lekan. Treatment Dithyanandaras, 250 mg, uh, twice a BD with Koshnajal, Kaisar Gugu, 200 mg, twice a Twice a BD, Gomudha Teki, 50 mg, 1 BD, Kukunaki Churuna, 1 BD, and Puranava Churuna, 1 gram, Chitrak Churuna, 250 mg, Piplimul Churuna, 500 mg, and Kansha Churuna, 1 gram, 
बीडी विथ क्वेश्चन जेल कुकुंडक चूर्ण वॉज गिवन एज अ लोकल एप्लीकेशन अबाउट ट्रीटमेंट वॉज गिवन फॉर टू मंथ्स रिजल्ट लेफ्ट फुट ट्वेल्व इंच आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट नाइन एंकर रिजन फोर्टीन आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट इलेवन मिल्क ऑफ रिजन सिक्सटीन एंड आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट ट्वेल्व After taking treatment for three months, if severity of all symptoms were reduced, warm blood, warm blood showed decrease, warm blood gravity had decreased, and chakram and kashata reduced. Result: uh, this first day photo, then after two months, and then after three months, uh, show it was reduced. Discussion: Nitanandaras. Nitanandaras is a pradhan drug in treatment of sleep blood. It is tridoshar lekhan a varn shodhak nit nitya anulomak. It is shoto shodhak and कफ विरेचक दस दस स्रोतो संघ इज रिलीव बाय नित्यानंद रस कैशर गुगुल इट इज रक्त स्रोतोगामी एक्टिवेट बॉडीज नेचुरल टॉक्सिन रिमोव सिस्टम एंड सपोर्ट हेल्थी सर्क्युलेशन बाय रक्त शोधक एंड रक्त प्रसारक क्वालिटी गोमुच हत की इन स्लीप मेधुधातु दुष्टि इज इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर ऑफ पैथोजेनेसिस मेधुधातु इज आप एंड पृथ्वी महाव प्रधान एंड हैविंग गुरु शीत स्निग्ध क्वालिटीज वाइल गोमुच हत की अग्नि एंड वायु महाव प्रधान विथ लघु वृक्ष उष्ण तीक्ष्ण क्वालिटीज Due to opposite qualities, Gomudha Thakki helps in Dushit Medu Dhatu Pachan. Kukunnaki Churna. Kukunnaki is best mounted Pachak and also Lekhaniya. Lekhaniya Dravya. Hence, after local application, helps in Sambrapti Vikatan. Kansana Gugu. It is having Ruksha, Laghu, Sukshma, Ushna Vidya with Lekhan property. Due to Ruksha and Lekhan Karma, it is effectively in, it is effectively, effective in management of Kapha Medu Prominent Disorder. चित्रक चूर्ण चित्रक इज शोथग्न पाचक वृक्ष उष्ण वातश्लेषम दस इफेक्टिव इन कफ शो कफ कठिन शोध पिपलीमूल चूर्ण बिंग वृक्ष उष्ण एंड कफ शामक हेल्प इन ब्रेकिंग पैथोजन ऑफ कफ स्लिप पुर्णवा चूर्ण पुर्णवा हेज एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी डायबिटी एक्शन विच हेल्प इन डिक्रीजिंग कठिन शोध ऑफ पेशेंट कंक्लूजन लेखन वृक्षण मेदोपाचक चिकित्सा इज व्हेरी इफेक्टिव इन मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ कफ स्लिपर नितरंद इज नितेंद्र रस इज वाजी प्रत्येक औषध इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कफ स्लिपर कफ स्लिपर कॅन बी ट्रीटेड ओनली विथ समन चिकित्सा एज नो शोध चिकित्सा इज गिवन इन दिस पेशंट थँक यू थँक यू डॉक्टर नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर शेदा आसाराम दोमन फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक आयुर्वेदिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सेल्युलाइटिस ए केस स्टडी अंडर द काय चिकित्सा पैनल डॉक्टर शेदा आर यू देयर यस डॉक्टर प्लीज शेयर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर ओके सर हॅलो हॅलो डॉक्टर हॅलो हा येस सर आय एम शेअरिंग माय स्लाइड वेट सम Yes, doctor. Now your screen is visible, doctor. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. Okay. सर इज माय स्लाइड इज विजिबल इज डॉक्टर विजिबल विजिबल डॉक्टर हॅलो हॅलो एव्हरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर श्वेता धुमाळ एम डी स्कॉलर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ काय चिकित्सा माय गाईड नेम इज डॉक्टर हेमंत पराडकर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ काय चिकित्सा अँड माय जोडी वैद्य अनया पात्रिकर मॅडम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ काय चिकित्सा फ्रॉम ए पी एम साई महाविद्यालय सायन मुंबई टुडे माय टॉपिक ऑफ पेपर प्रेझेंटेशन इज आयुर्वेदिक मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ स्टेस स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन 
Cellulitis is an uncomplicated non-necrotizing acute infection of the skin that involves in the mid lower dermis and subcutaneous tissue but not extending more deeply to involve the fascia or muscle. Cellulitis appears as a swollen red area of skin that feels hot and tender. It can spread rapidly to other part body. Cellulitis is not only spread from person to person. Skin on lower legs is most commonly affected. Cellulitis can be correlated with jala gardhava which is included in Kshudra Roga. According to Shushruta, Jalagardab means Visarpavata Sarpayati, Daha, Jwara, Tanu, Apaki, Shotha. Case study. Name of patient is XYZ, uh, age 43 year, uh, gender is male, residence uh, from Mumbai, occupation security guard, standing work was there, history of present illness, a male patient of 43 year old, presently living in Mumbai, Maharashtra was complaining of Vama Pada Pradeshi, uh, over sheen of tibia, Rakta Varanata, Alpa Shotha, Shul, Daha, since eight days. He visited the OPD of Concern Institute for the same. Past medical history, known case of hypertension. Past sur surgical history was nil. Personal history, intake of non-vegetarian food thrice in a week, tea four to five times in a day. Sleep disturbed, appetite reduced. Bowel irregular, constipated, addiction, no addiction. Uh, on examination, uh, on examination of general condition, patient has vata pitta prakruti. Vital signs, pulse was 88 per minute, uh, BP 150 by 80, MMFG, Trividha Pariksha, Darshan, Vama Pada Pradeshi Shoth, Sparshan, generalized skin test status has revealed Ushna Sparsha, Tanuta, Sparsha Sahatva. Prashna, uh, Vama Pada Pradeshi Shula and Daha, Ashtavid Pariksha, Nadi 88 per minute, Mala Vibhanda, Mutra Samyak 4 to 5 times per day, Jiva Sama, Sparsha Sheeta, Akruti Madhyam, Druka Samyak. Uh, local examination, Side shape and position, Left foot 30 into 10 into 1 centimeter at medial aspect of sheen of tibia. Borders were diffused. Systemic examination. Uh, respiratory system, air entry bilaterally clear. CVS S1, S2 heart. heart uh, conscious and well oriented. Per abdomen was non tender. Samprapti ghatak. Lakshana. Alprothakta varnata. Da shula. Dosh pitta pradhan tridosh. Dusha tvakara mausa. Strotas, Rasava, Strotodushti, Raptava, Strotodushti, and Mausava, Strotodushti. Roga Marga, Bahia Roga Marga, Mi Shakhagata, Rogi Bal Madhyam, Agni Visham, Roga Bal Madhyam, Hetu Bal Madhyam. Treatment given first day, means first February 2022. This is where given as Kaishor Gugul, Rana Gugul. Guduji Churna Puna, Guduji Churna Punana Churna, Rasna Churna, and Shunti Churna, eat and milliram in bedos with coronal, then Muktadi containing Mukta Moti Pishti twenty five milliram, Pravar Pishti twenty five. The doctor. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Please continue. Hello. Wait, wait, sir. Okay, doctor. Uh, and uh, on first follow up, Jaloka Charan was done. Uh, on second follow up, uh, same treatment was given with Jaloka Charan. Uh, we done third follow up and fourth follow up also. We have done, uh, we had done um, given oral medicines with Jaloka Charan uh, results with one month of internal medication and external therapy, which included five sittings of application of Jaloka. There is significant reduction of signs and symptoms. Lakshana, uh, Rakta Varnata before treatment was 4 plus, after treatment 1 plus, Shota before treatment 2 plus, after treatment 1 plus, Shula before treatment 3 plus, after treatment 1 plus, 
दाह बिफोर ट्रीटमेंट थ्री प्लस ट्रीटमेंट वन प्लस हियर आई हैव शो हेलो डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर कैन यू हेयर मी हाय इजंट इट आई एम इज इट आई एम ऑडिबल यस डॉक्टर ऑडिबल फर्स्ट डे ही वाज हैविंग द एट्रोन सेलेक्टस ही वाज हैविंग रबता In second picture, the operation was done. Then after the uh, last few was second reduced for getting sense of the patient discussion. Chalo ka. From the end, by active molecule infinity analysis, the microbial coagulant properties were reported from medicinal leeches. Leech has urine in saliva, which is potent thrombolytic fibrinolytic agent. the inclusion in in using substance we hello doctor uh, yes sir yes sir wait Uh, which acts as anti-inflammatory and therefore reducing pain and therefore reduces mechanical loads, which diminish pain, swelling, redness in cellulitis. Conclusion: From this study, from this case study, it can be concluded that internal pitta shama chikitsa and sittings of leech therapy gives significant relief in patients of cellulitis. That is, uh, jala garda. It provides relief to pain, burning sensation, and swelling due to inflammation. Thank you. Thank you all of you. Thank you, doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Singh Prayenga Arvin on the case presentation. Dr. Prayenga, are you there? Yes. Hello. Yes, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Yes. Yes. Just a second. so this is it okay doctor so is my screen visible yes doctor visible yes sir so uh, this is dr priyanka singh under the guidance of dr siddharth gaikwad sir he is uh, hod hod and professor in kg mittal sir kg mittal hospital uh, i am going to present a case on shwas chikitsa uh, we had a patient uh, named ram narayan his age was 68 years he was male and uh, we diagnosed him as shwas his occupation was carpenter his weight was 40 kg there was a male patient named ram narayan Age sixty eight years was brought to Kaya Chikitsa OPD for following complaints. He had productive cough since past five to six years. Uh, dyspnea at night, on and off. Weight loss last three months. He had uh, weight loss from forty five kg to forty kg. Past history: patient earlier had complained of dry cough from five to six years back. He took homeopathic medicines after which he started having productive cough. He has a known history of internal hemorrhoids. Took homeopathic medicines for same. got relief from medications and he takes uh, modern inhalers also no history of smoking alcohol alcohol or tobacco addiction uh, he he had carpenter job so he was exposed to dust more no history of cough or any other liver lung diseases earlier paternal history of asthma his father had asthma he had no history of passive smoking his hetu was occupation that is carpenter he was uh, working in dust he was allergic to dust and cold environment on examination Darshan, uh, his chest was barrel shaped. Nose, there was no DNS find. 
hands tremors in both hands use of uh, use of accessory muscles for breathing legs there was no edema ankles no edema no sinus was seen over centrally or peripherally spurshan parshashul uh, and sparshasatva nahi tha prashna shwasa kashtata he had dyspnea on exhaustion adrograph pravati since 5 to 6 years and on auscultation he had wheezing bilateral upper and lower lobes on ashtvid pariksha his nadi was 110 per minute mala one time normal no heart stool or strain defecation mutro day 3 to 4 times night earlier he had 3 to 4 times now he has two times jeeva was sam shabd was first sparsh was sheet druko he had drishti mandya akriti he was krish on examination spo was 98 person pulse was 110 per minute rr 36 per minute uh, this is the photo of a patient having he was lean and he was using accessory muscles this is his chest x ray uh his chest x ray showed changes of uh, bronchitis in both lower zone with uh, cystic bronchiectasis in left mid and lower zone rest uh, everything was normal pleura and all were normal these are his modern medicines which he used to use glenium in uh, noon time budotrol inhaler 400 bd uh, bricarex that is syrup 10 ml tds doxycycline 1 bd and tablet roxidam 1 bd uh in ayurveda treatment we gave him sitapaladi churna 10 g yashti madhu 5 g and tankan 2 g with madhu muhur muhur chatan as uh, it is shwas veg and uh, vega avastha mein we give muhur muhur uh, chatan next was lakshmi vilas ras 2 bd chandramrit ras 2 bd gandharv hariti ki 2 g hs with uh, lukewarm water shatavri churna ashwagandha churna with dug as the patient was lean and bringan was needed go growth seven and kanakasa 15 ml bd In Panchakarma Chikitsa, we had advised him Aksa Lavan Snehan Swedan Snehan with Til Til or Narayan Til mixed with Sandav Lavan. Swedan was Nadi Swed and Nasya Anu Til two drops in each nostril. Follow up, patient showed marked improvement in two weeks. Cough with expectoration reduced significantly. Dyspnea on exertion reduced. Weight gain. Accessory muscles use reduced. Nidra six to seven hours. He could sound. He could have a sound sleep. Use of bronchodilators reduced orally and externally. Nebulization on inhalers. Pranvastotas Ashwas is a uh, drushti of Pranvastotas. The most than is Pranvahanam Stotasham Riddhya Moolam Mahastotasya Pradusha Nam Khalve Sham Idam Vishesh Vigyanam Bhavati. And the uh, symptoms are Ati Shristam Ati Badam Kupitam Alpo Alpo Bhikshanam Va Sa Shabda Shulam Kuchh Vasantam Drushtva Pranvahanasya Stotansi Pradusha Nati Riddhya. Pranvah uh, Stotas Dushti Hetu. He used to work in uh, uh, dual and all carpenter as he was carpenter. So uh, we could take the Dushti Hetu as uh, Raja Dhum and all. Hikka Shwas Nidan as is uh, as it is shown in Grantha as it is Raja Sa Dhum Vata Bhyam Shita Sthana Ambu Sevna. So in this patient we can identify Raj and Dhum as the main cause of Shwas. And in Shwas a rog a Pandu and Vish Bhakshan se bhi ukto rog utpanna hote hain. So we can correlate with that. Charak Nidan eight to nineteen. Uh, all the Nidan art uh, have been given. Pandu and Shwas even in Pandu rog Shwas kas has been given as one of the lakshanas. Shari me bhari pan tandra Shwas kas alas se bojan ke prati aur uchi. So in Pandu patients also it can be seen. This is Pranvas Trotas Chikitsa. Shwas ko sudharne wali Trishna rog nashak aur am doshak chikitsa karni chahiye. Hikka Shwas ardhitam snigda ado swed. Uh, this is for uh, Act Eleven Saints within that we did. जिसे ग्रथित श्लेषमा जो होता है वो पहाड़ में जैसे कफ इकट्ठा हुआ रहता है वो बाहर निकलता है वैसे उसमें निकलता है एंड वातन हिलोमन वी हैड गिवन हिम अस्वेदनीय व्यक्ति स्वेदन वी हैड गिवन हिम विद नाड़ी स्वेद हिक्का श्वास चिकित्सा सूत्र उनमें सेंधा नमक और गाय के घी से छाती पर मालिश करे वो हमने आत्तलवन स्नेह स्वेदन वी गेव हिम एंड वी गेव हिम ब्रिंगन चिकित्सा श्वास में वी हैव टू गिव हिम ब्रिंगन चिकित्सा दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वी डोंट हैव टू गिव हिम अपकर्षण चिकित्सा और इट विल बी लाइक फिंग Uh, it can be hereditary idiopathic or acquired associated with various disorders cyanotic congenital heart disease infective endocarditis pulmonary condition like bronchiectasis lung abscess gi diseases like ibd and hepatic cirrhosis cyanosis can be central or peripheral cyanosis 
um, thank you. Hello. Thank you, doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Pradeek Jengilwar on the paper presentation on the topic analysis of various charas sutra and the management of phaganda. Dr. Pradeek, are you there? Hello, Dr. Pradeek, are you there? Hello. Hello. Yes, Dr. Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, sir, uh, can you please share that slide? Yes, Dr. Okay. Please continue, Dr. Uh, hello, good evening, uh, everyone. I am Dr. Pratik Jangilwar from the PG scholar from Shalya Tandra Department of Late Kedari Redekar Ayurved College and Hospital Guarding List, Kolhapur. My basic uh, my topic is analysis of various Shar Sutra in the management of Bhagandara. The content is uh, the introduction, aim, methodology, observation, discussion, and the conclusion. So we'll go for the introduction. Shar Sutra is a successful novel drug delivery system emerging as a specialized modality of treatment in the field of surgery in Ayurveda. Shar Sutra is distinguished as a medical seton, mechanical action of the thread or seton and the chemical action of drugs coated on the thread together do the work of cutting, curating, draining and cleaning thus, thus promoting healing of the wound. Shar Sutra even though not described uh, vividly by Bhutri, but it has been described and practiced in Ayurveda for anorectal disorders and also for those conditions which demands gradual excision. It was standardized in the department of Shalya, B.H. Varanasi, by Professor Dr. P.J. Deshpande, his research officer Dr. S. R. Gupta and his co-workers. Apamarga Shar Sutra is considered as the standard Shar Sutra, although this Apamarga Shar Sutra has been a landmark success but it has certain drawbacks like pain, burning sensation, and itching. Even Sumik Shira is used in Upper, upper Margak Shar Sutra, also, cre also creates many problems during preparation of threads. In order to overcome these disadvantages of Upper, upper Margak Shar Sutra, several other Shar Sutra as well as Shira Sutra has been prepared by different research scholars. Aim. Analysis of various Shar Sutras in the management of Bhaganda. Methodology. This, uh, this study is endeavored to check the published articles uh, for the material used in different Shar Sutra preparation wide in India. The method followed is net and book surfing for various materials with keywords. Observation. Upon screening various research scholars' articles on different Shar Sutras, following par particulars were perceived. The first one is uh, Udumbar Kshir Sutra. Ingredients is Udumbar Kshir. Methods of preparation is 11 coatings of Udumbar Kshir were made on thread. Research scholars are P.G. Desh, Deshpande and M.K. Jalal. The second one is Papaya Sutra. Papaya fruit pulp, papain powder, Haridra powder. 11 coatings of papaya fruit pulp and papain powder. 2 coatings of papaya fruit pulp and Haridra powder. The scholar is S.N. Patak. Snuhiswars Kshar Sutra. Snuhiswaras Apamarka Kshar Haridra powder. Eleven coatings of Snuhiswaras, seven coatings of Snuhiswaras with Apamarka Kshar, three coatings of Snuhiswaras with Haridra powder. The scholars are A.K. Gupta and S.N. Pathak. The Evakshara Sutra. Snuhikshir Evakshara Haridra powder. Eleven coatings of Snuhikshir, seven coatings of Snuhikshir with Evakshar, and three coatings of Snuhikshir with Haridra powder. The scholars are S.N. Pathak and A. Vidyarthi. The fifth one is Grit Kumari Kshar Sutra. Grit Kumari Palpa, Apamarga Kshar, Haridra Powder. And the method of preparation is 11 coatings of Grit Kumari Palpa, 7 coatings of Grit Kumari Palpa with Apamarga Kshar, and the 3 coatings of Grit Kumari Palpa with Haridra Powder. The scholars are the K.R. Sharma and P.S. Reddy. Sixth one is Argvad, Argvadadi. Akshara Sutra, Aragvadadi fruit, pulp, grit, madhu, haridra powder, and agar. The method of preparation is seven coatings of Aragvadadi fruit pulp plus grit plus madhu, three coatings of Aragvadadi fruit pulp, grit, madhu, haridra, and the three coatings of Aragvadadi fruit pulp, grit, madhu, and agar. The scholars are P. Hemant and Kumar and M. Sahu. Kadil Akshara Sutra, Snuhik Shira Kadil, Akshara Haridra. 
powder and the preparation is 11 coatings of snohik shir, 7 coatings of snohik shir with kadalik shir, kshara and 3 coatings of snohik shir with haridra. The scholars are Vikas Yadav, Prashant Rao, Hemant Kumar. Gugur Sadh Sutra. The ingredients are Gugur solution, Apamarga kshara, haridra powder. The 11 coatings of Gugur solution with Apamarga kshara and 3 coatings of Gugur solution with haridra. Parveen Kumar and M. Sahu are, are the research scholar for this thing. The ninth one is Palas, Palash Shar Sutra, Snuhik Shir, Palash Shar, Haridra Powder. The 11 coatings of Snuhik Shir, 7 coatings of Snuhik Shir with Palash Shar, 3 coatings of Snuhik Shir with Haridra Powder. And the research scholars are Gaurav Parmar, Meena Parmar. The Gomutra Shar Sutra. Uh, the 10th uh, one is Gomutra Kshara Sutra, Snuhik Shir, Gomutra Kshara, Haridra Powder. And the uh, preparation methods are 11 coatings of Snuhik Shir, 7 coatings of Snuhik Shir with Gomutra Kshara, 3 coatings of Snuhik Shir with Haridra Powder, and, N, and the research scholars are N.K. Adav and A.K. Bhargava. The 11th one is Modified Kshara Sutra. It's Araka Kshira, Papaya Kshira, Tankan Kshara, Yashtimadu, and Yashtimadu Churna. The, prepare, uh, the methods are 11 coatings of arakakshir, 7 coatings of arakakshir plus papayakshir plus tankankshar, 3 coatings of arakakshir with papayakshir plus estimadu powder. The scholars are and uh, the scholar is N. Gupta. The Nimba Kshara Sutra, Snuhik Shir, uh, Idimba Kshara Haridra powder, 11 coatings of Snuhik Shir, 7 coatings of uh, Snuhik Shir and Nimba Kshara, 3 coatings of Snuhik Shir. Haridra powder and the research scholars are Siddharam Arauti and Rajeshwari Espagya. A discussion. It was it was found that Udumbakshir Sutra is having Vranadoshaka and Varanaropaka action. Papaya Sutra is also Vranaropaka, Papaya and powder uh, obtained by drying unripe fruit juice using thread contain strong proteolytic enzyme which lead to debridement of necrosed tissue very early after application. Snuhik Shir collection, Snuhi Swaras was used in the preparation of Snuhi Swar Shar Sutra. In Yavakshara Sutra, Yavakshara is used in place of Akamarka Kshar, which is well known for its lakhan action. It, it causes less pain as compared to Akamarka Kshar Sutra. But unit cutting time of Yavakshara Sutra is more. In Grutakamari Kshar Sutra, pulp of Grutakamari was used. In place of Snuhik Shir, researchers suggested that Gutukumari possesses local anesthetic property. It was observed that thread appears to be um, bedded because sticking was not uniform, so pain was noticed during application. Aragodadi Kshara therapy for Bhagandra has been described by many ancient authors. Unit cutting time is less because of which total duration of treatment is reduced. Burning pain and irritation during the primary application and uh, successive changes of sutra is quite less. Kadalik Shar Sutra has more acceptability, less irritant, easy available, causes less burning sensation, encourage healing by new granulation tissue formation, but its uh, unit cutting time is more as compared to Apamarga Shar Sutra. In Gugur Shar Sutra, it was observed that pain and anxiety are very less during and after application. Was discharged and in duration were reduced in early sittings in comparison to other thread. But the only disadvantage is that due to soapy nature of the thread, it loses its loosens after application. In Palas Ashara Sutra, there was a marked reduction in pain, burning sensation, inflammation, and local reaction. The only drawback was that its unit cutting time was more as compared to Apamarka Kshara Sutra. In Gomutra Kshara Sutra, it was observed that. Total duration of treatment was reduced pain, burning sensation, itching, discharge, and tenderness also reduced significantly. Using modified Kshar Sutra in comparison to standard Kshar Sutra to reduce the total duration of treatment because its unit cutting time is less at the same time, it is Vranahara uh, Shotahara, Vranaropak, and Dahashama, but it is difficult to prepare it. Nimbak Shar Sutra has property which does help in. Uh, separation of immature shot and drains the separated brun, which leads to cleaning of cavity. Subsequently, subscribe the pain. Other than other than this, it has a, a kandugna 
Krumigna and the Hashamaka properties. Conclusion On the basis of this observation gained after accomplishment of current work, it can be determined that although the Upamargakshar Sutra has been a landmark success and is an established therapy but has certain drawback in order to overcome that. Other Kshasutra were made by the drugs available in the bulk having Vranashodaka, Vranaropaka, less irritant, having less unit cutting time and other good properties. During this study, I came across 12 different Kshasutra preparation and arrived to a conclusion that all Kshasutra have a space for elevation in qualities. This novel drug delivery system needs standardization, modification and more research. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Nilesh T. Potegar for the paper presentation on the topic Study the Effect of Yoga as Treatment Therapy for Non Specific Lower Back Pain. Dr. Nilesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Doctor. My screen is visible, sir. Not visible, Doctor. Wait. One minute, sir. Okay, Doctor. Sir, I'm unable to share my screen. Will you help me? Okay, Doctor. One minute. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Am I audible? Yes, Doctor, audible. Myself, Dr. Nilesh Potikar from uh, Healthcare Sayurvedic College, Gurdwani, uh, doing PG in uh, Shalya Tantra. My guide and HOD helped me for this presentation. Next. Study the effect of yoga as treatment therapy for non-specific lower back pain as on functional ability. Next. Causes of non-specific lower back pain, muscle strain, muscle spasm, traumatic, osteoarthritis, lumbar spondylosis, lumbosacral. Am I audible, sir? Hello? Yes, doctor, audible, doctor. Please continue, doctor. Okay. okay. Myositis. Next. Next. Next, yoga. Yoga is the nirodha, Patanjali yoga. Uh, yoga is the stilling of uh, fluctuations of mind. Man ki urtyo ki chan chalta ko niyantran me rakna. Isi ko yoga kehte. Next, ashtang yoga. Yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratyahar, dharana, dhyan, samadhi. Ye sab ashtang yoga uh, batai gaye hai. <coughs> Methods. A review of the existing studies that have examined the extent to which practicing yoga can reduce the impact yoga has on patients which chronic lower back pain been conducted. The, the embassy, PubMed, Cochrane, Sinhal, Central and, Med, and Medline database were searched for articles that were that was that were published between January 2000 and mid-March 2016. That contained the following keywords low back pain, yoga, sickness, disability, exercise, review. Next. Inclusion criteria. Yoga represented the primary intervention for treating the chronic back pain. The participants of the study included in the review were diagnosed with chronic lower back pain. 
the article described in clinical trial the article was written in english the article was original next exclusion criteria studies that included participants who were under the age of 18 those that included subjects who did not discuss chronic lower back pain next selection of studies the original search of the database identified 67 studies that were potentially relevant to the review following a review of the full body of the article against the inclusion criteria six studies were determined to be appropriate to the research objective next result study yoga act as an operational non-pharmacological treatment that reduces the functional disability associated with lower back pain it can more efficiently reduce the pain intensity of clinic clinic lower back pain in comparison to alternative intervention thank you sir thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr ankita sanjay jikte for the paper presentation on the topic ayurveda for infectious disease dr ankita are you there um, yes sir sir am i audible yes doctor audible doctor please Just share the screen minute. doctor Sir, my screen is visible. Yes, Dr. Visible, Dr. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Ankita Sanjay Chikte, PG Scholar, Swastavutta Department from College of Ayurveda and Research Center, Nigiri. I am guided by uh, Dr. Rajkumar Bobre, Professor and HOD of Swastavutta Department, and Dr. Aarti Firke, Madam, Associate Professor. Uh, so, infection disease comes under the communicable diseases, which are caused by specific infectious agent or its toxic product transmitted from one person to another or from animal to human beings. So nowadays, uh, world is facing problem of novel coronavirus disease, which is caused by severe accurate uh, respiratory syndrome, COVID-19. So basically, the virus attacks on immune system. So there is need to focus on uh, immunity building, which is possible with the combined effect of Ayurveda and yoga, plus with modern medicine. So this is the traditional uh, traditional model of infectious disease, uh, that is epidemiology, which include external agent. External agent is SARS-CoV-2 and its variant, that is Delta Omicron. Uh, next is susceptible host, a human who can get disease, that, that is person who is exposed to the virus. Environment, extrinsic factors, uh, and it also includes uh, geographical distribution. Infectious or communicable diseases are compared with Janapadhans and Ayurveda. Acharya Charak used Janapadhans word for infectious disease. Acharya Sushut used Maraka and Acharya Bhel used Janamar for Janapadhans. Janapadhans, the word is made up of two words. Janapad means group of people or community and Dhamsa means destruction or demolition. So the meaning is mass destruction or mass demolition and destroy the whole population physically, mentally, and economically. Janapada Dhansa includes natural calamities, epidemics, and pandemics. So this is the samprapti, uh, pradnaprat adharma, which causes the vitiation of vayu, jala, desha, and ritu, which affect the internal as well as external doshas. Internal doshas causes uh, agni manda, which produces the disease. Mode of transmission as per Acharya Sushut. In Sushut Sahita Sutra Stan 5, Acharya Sushut uh, mentioned the mode of transmission that is Prasangat Gata Sansparshat, Nishwasat Sahabhojanat, Sahya Sahya Napeja, Vastra Malayan Lepanat, Kushtam Joram Shoshasha, Netra Bishand Evacha, Opasargi Krogasha, Sankramti Narandara. Uh, that is uh, physical contact, uh, droplet infection, or sharing the bed, food, cream. Or ornaments. Uh, example given by Acharya Sushrutar, Kushtam Jora Shosha, Netra Bishanda, which are transmitted from one person to another. Management. Uh, according to Ayurveda, management is uh, done by Nidan Parivarjan, that is avoidance of positive factors, Adharma, Daiva Vipasha Chikitsa, Mantra Chanting, Brahmacharya Palan, Achar Rasan, and avoid of air, water, and soil pollution. Pratibandha prevention. Uh, avoiding crowded places, use of masks, use of sanitization. Uh, according to Ayurveda, prevention is possible with Panchakarma, 
which stabilizes the doshas according to ritu in varsha ritu uh, basti that is enema therapy is uh, recommended for with, uh, stabilization of pata dosha in sharad virechan and rakta moksha are recommended and in vasanta vaman is uh, recommended for stabilization of kapha dosha rasayan chikitsa Uh, Rasayan act uh, by improving quality of food, which helps in improving Im immunity. As we know, the o OG star of all the subtle dhatus. Uh, so in Rasayan, for infections, we consider the three types of Rasayan, preventive, curative, and achar Rasayan. Preventive Rasayan for maintaining health of healthy person. For example, Chavan Prash Rasayan or Pipali Rasayan, which acts on uh, pran was totus, which gives strength to the lungs. Curative Rasayan for treatment of disease. Example, Samir Pannagra, Thembakar Kotlin, COVID-19. Rasayan also helps in prevention of complication. Acha Rasayan, uh, it is for eternal rejuvenation, uh, mental and spiritual well-being. It includes respect of teachers, parents and elders, sympathy towards animals and humans, helping the needy person avoid excessive consumption of alcohol, avoidance of rough and rude language, uh, Satvik Ahar, which includes milk, ghee, etc., which keep person calm and thoughtful. The person who follows these rules of Achar Rasayan gets benefit of Rasayan without consuming it. This is 10 minutes yoga protocol given by Ayush, which includes a pra a prayer, then asanas in a standing position, sitting position, laying on stomach and back. So starting with prayer, which is for 30 minutes, 30 seconds, uh, loosening practice that is Sukshma Vam, which includes neck bending, shoulder movements and trunk movement for two minutes. Uh, yoga practices it includes asan performing uh, standing posture, tadasan, ardha chakrasan, and shash, uh, asan in uh, sitting posture is sashankasan, that is the hair, hair posture. Asan performed by lying on stomach, bhujangasan. Asan performed on uh, lying down on back, pavan muktasan. Pranayam it, it includes anulom vilam or nadi shudan pranayam. Uh, then the meditation and the closing with. Sankal for Shanti part. Total duration is 10 minutes. Ayurvedic immunity promoting measures. It includes uh, Chavantrash 10 milligrams in the morning. Diabetes should take a sugar free Chavantrash. Uh, drink herbal tree or kada, which is made up of Tulsi, Dalchini, Kali Mej, Shunti, Manukka, once or twice a day. And at bedtime, gold, uh, golden milk, that is ha half teaspoon of healthy powder in 150 ml of hot milk, once or twice a day. In uh, modern medicine, uh, it is preven uh, prevention is possible with the vaccine and treatment is done with uh, blood plasma or monoclonal antibodies drug repurposing or discovery of novel drugs. Uh, conclusion, aim of Ayur uh, Ayurveda, maintaining health of healthy person and curing the disease one. Uh, prevention is the only key. Management of infectious disease is possible with Nidhan Parivajan, Panchakarma, Rasa and Sadhvita Palan. And also the following the Ayush immunity booster that is Chavan Prash in the morning, drinking herbal tea or cough. Uh, medicine includes uh, Guruchi Ganavati Ayush 64 tablet or golden milk or turmeric milk at the night. So there is major role of Ayurveda in prevention and management of infectious disease. Here are some references. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Kranti Uday Markar for the paper presentation on the topic Management of Hemorrhoids with Dietary and Lifestyle Modifications. Dr. Kranti, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Hello. Yes, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Uh, good evening. Uh, I, Dr. Kranti Uday Mokar, uh, from PG Scholar in Shalya Tantra Department, under guidance of Dr. Amit Kumar Pundapasar, uh, College, LKRH, Ayurved College, Gadingla School, uh, title, Management of Hemorrhoids, Arsha, with Dietary and Lifestyle Modification. Introduction, Ayurveda has immune potential to solve many challenges and unsolved problems of medical world. Among them, Arsha is one such grave disease. The growing tendency to intake artificial food, increased mental tension, lack of rest, careless uh, attitude towards uh, responding to the natural urge, uh, such as uh, suppression of defecation, urination, also intensity the process of disease. The fast food and cola culture have again worsened the condition. The 
this disorder is utterly embarrassing to the patient. The perianal skin is one of most painful sensitive region in the body due to which a rich nerve endings. Hence, a mild form of disorder can produce great dis discomfort to the patient. Aim to study management of hemorrhoid with diet. Object two, to study the effect of patya ahar in arsha. Second, to study the effect of lifestyle changes cause arsha. Third, to study the modification of diet is the treatment of arsha. Material and methods. Only, uh, only Ayurvedic uh, textual uh, materials have been used for this study, for which various references have been collected. Main, mainly used books in studies are Shushru Sahita, Charak Sahita, Ashtanga Rudai. And available uh, commentaries uh, of these Sahitas. Management of Arsha with dietary and modification of lifestyle. First, fill up on fiber. Hemorrhoids are more likely to occur in people who have infrequency boil moments. One of the easiest and most natural way to become more regular in, is by filling up fiber either through your diet or supplements. Great food sources of fiber includes legumes such as split peas, lentils, black beans, lima uh, beans, and baked beans. Whole grains such as barley, bran flakes, or oatmeal and brown rice. Vegetables such as artichoke, green peas, broccoli, and brussella sprouts. Fruits such as raspberry, pears, apples, and banana. Drink enough water. The hemorrhoids prevention uh, strategy is simple and cheap, yet so few of uh, us actually do it. Along with e eating a healthy diet full of fiber, adequate dehydration, uh, hydration from water is, like, uh, is the key to have the healthy bowel movements. Drinking enough water helps to prevent constipation and therefore disease uh, straining. Great, uh, get plenty of exercise. Exercise help keep the colon, uh, colon more regular. If your, hemo if your hemorrhoids are caused by chronic constipation, try not to eat too many foods with little or no fiber, such as cheese, chips, fast food, ice cream, meats, prepare food, such as some frozen snacks, processed food, such as hot dogs, some micro uh, available for dinners. Mm -hmm. About straining, straining and putting more pressure on veins in your rectum is one of the most common uh, cause of painful or bleeding hemorrhoids. Uh, being aware of straining you are putting on your bowel and avoiding it as the, uh, much as you can. Don't fight the urge when you have to go, go. This is one of the simplest way to prevent the hemorrhoids. Conclusion. As Arsha is the problem related to lifestyle, age, occupation and dietary factors, it is very ter uh, terrible condition. Patient is afraid of defecation because of pain with ble uh, bleeding per rectum. Moreover, patient uh, became more anxious after observing pain full of blood, a uh, pan full of blood. Thus, Ayurveda and Patya are of the, definitely has immense potential to manage all the stages of Arsha uh, successfully without any complications. Hence, piles can be successfully managed by Nidan Pariversion, avoiding pos positive factors, strictly following Patya and avoiding Apatya. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Smita Atul Deshmukh for the poster presentation on the topic Beach Shuddhi for the Gerpa Shankar. Yes, Dr. sir. Dr. Smita? Yes, sir. Can I audible? Yes, Doctor. Audible, Doctor. Please no, start. This. I share my screen. Okay, Doctor. The screen is uh, shared, visible, sir. Doctor. Your screen is visible, oh. doctor. Uh, good up, good up. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Smita Deshmukh, PG Scholar, SST Ayurved College, Sangam Nair. And my guide name is Sonal Wang, ma'am, HOD of the Sri Rog Department and Prasurasi Santra. My topic is Bija Shuddhi for Garba Sanskar. Shuddha Bija Koti, Fire Rasara Vomati, Ya Sukaram Maharajancha Upti Nusar. आयुर्वेद शास्त्र मध्ये शोधनाद्वारे बीज शुद्धी करून आणि आयुर्वेदिक औषधांचा उपयोग करून गर्भ संस्काराद्वारे उत्तम सुदृढी सुदृढ निरोगी अपत्य प्राप्ती करता येते ज्या आजकाल बरस जनरे आजकालच्या जनरेशन मध्ये 
बरेच जे कपल्स आहेत तर त्यांना इनफर्टिलिटी किंवा जे इनफर्टिलिटीचे हे प्रॉब्लेम्स आहेत आणि बऱ्याच जणांना जे होणारे बाळ असतं तर त्याच्यामध्ये काहीतरी डिफेक्ट येतो ड्यू टू चेंजिंग देअर लाईफ स्टाईल अँड इन अदर कम्प्लेन म्हणजे आजकाल बरेचशे स्त्रिया बरेचशा वेगवेगळ्या क्षेत्रामध्ये काम करतात त्याच्यामुळे जागरण होतं बाहेरचं फास्ट फूड खाणं होतं हे सगळे जे कारण आहेत तर त्याच्यामुळे हे वंध्यत्व किंवा पीसीओडी पीसीओएस अशा वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे आजार आपल्याला दिसून येतात आणि गर्भ उत्पन्न होण्यासाठी आयुर्वेदामध्ये चार गर्भ साम सुश्रुताचार्यांनी चार गर्भोत्पन्न सामग्री सांगितलेली आहे ध्रुवम चतुर्णाम सानिध्यात गर्भ त्यात विधीपूर्वक हा ऋतू क्षेत्र अंबू बीजाणा सामुद्र्यात अंकुर यथा जिस प्रकारचे म्हणजे ज्या प्रकारे जमीन मशागत करून नवीन झाड तयार होण्यासाठी ऋतू म्हणजे जे ग्रीष्म वर्षा शरद ऋतू जे सांगितलेले आहेत त्याच्यानुसारच जी जमीन असते तर ती चांगली पाहिजे आणि त्या झाडाला जे पाणी पुरवतो तेही चांगलं पाहिजे अशा चार गोष्टींची जरुरी असते तसेच गर्भ निर्माण होण्यासाठी चार सामुग्री सांगितलेल्या आहेत आयुर्वेदामध्ये त्याच्यामध्ये ऋतू ऋतू म्हणजे गर जी स्त्री असते तर तिच्यामध्ये ऋतूकाल असतो ऋतू म्हणजे रजस्त्राव असंही धरलं जातं आयुर्वेदामध्ये तर ऋतूच तो द्वादश द्वादश रात्राभोवती असं सांगितलेलं आहे म्हणजे जो फर्टाईल पिरियड आहे स्त्री बीज तयार होणं ते आणि गर्भाशय बीज वाहिन्या गर्भ पोषणासाठी आवश्यक असणारा रसधातू स्त्री बीज पुरुष बीज हे ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टींचा संयोग आवश्यक असतो आणि ह्या जर चारही गोष्टी चांगल्या असतील तर जे होणारं बाळ असतं तर निरोगी आणि चांगलं सुदृढ होत आणि शुद्ध शुक्राची लक्षणे सांगितलेली आहेत आयुर्वेदामध्ये स्पटिभागम द्रवम स्निग्धम मधुरम मधुरगंधीच शुक्र मिच्छित केचित तैल शद्र निमम तथा म्हणजे जे शुद्ध शुक्र असत ते व्हाईट कलरच असत आणि ते गुरु असत चिकट असत म्हणजे स्निग्धता असते त्याला जास्त ते मधुर रसाच असत ते पुष्कळस लाट असून तूप मध आणि तेल यासारखं जे त्याची कन्सिस्टन्सी असते त्याला शु शुद्ध शुक्र असं म्हणतात आणि जे शुद्ध अर्थव असत तर ते असं वर्णन केलेलं आहे की शशास्त्र प्रतिमम यत्तु यद्वास लाक्षारसवतरम तदार्थव प्रशंसंती यद्वासन विरंजन म्हणजे जे शुद्ध अर्थव असत तर ते सशाशा कल कल रक्ताप्रमाणे लाल असून ते जर वस्त्राला डा डाक पडले असतात ते धुतले जातात आणि ते स्वच्छ असा अर्थवाचे गुणधर्म सांगितलेले आहेत म्हणजे हे आणि त्या प्रकारे वाघभटाचार्यांनी आठ प्रकारचे शुक्रदृष्टी आणि रजदृष्टीचे वर्णन केलेले आहेत मात शुक्र पित्त शुक्र कफ शुक्र कुणप शुक्र गंधी शुक्र पुय शुक्र शीण शुक्र मूत्र शुक्र पुरुष मात आणि असे नऊ प्रकार आणि त्याच्यासोबत अस्त्र म्हणजे स्त्री बीज तर त्या त्याचे सुद्धा आठ प्रकारचे वर्णन केलेले आहे वात पित्त कफच कुणप गंधी ग्रंथी आर्तव पुयास्त्र शिनार्तव आणि मूत्रास्त्र असं वर्णन केलेलं आहे तर हे जे आहे तर ते आयुर्वेदामध्ये शुद्ध आणि शुद्ध पुरुष आणि शुद्ध स्त्री बीज ह्याच्यासाठी पंचकर्मातले आपण कर्म केले तर आर्तवामध्ये आणि पुरुष बीजामध्ये शुद्ध शुद्धी उत्पन्न होऊन होणारं बाळ छान होत तर त्यासाठी पंचकर्मामध्ये वमन विरेचन बस्ती हे पॉइंट जे आहेत तर त्याचा छान रिझल्ट आलेला आहे तर वमनामध्ये ह्याचा रेफरन्स वाघभटाचार्यांनी शुद्ध शुक्रार्थ व स्वस्तम सरक्तम मिथुनम मिता स्नेही पुसवनेही स्निग्धम शुद्धम शिथिल बस्तिकम वाघभट शारीरस्थान पहिल्या अध्यायामध्ये नाईन्टीन श्लोक आहे त्याच्यामध्ये दिलेला आहे आणि स्त्रीमध्ये मोस्टली रसवा स्रोतसाची दृष्टी असते रसवा स्रोतसापासूनच रजा आणि स्तन्याची निर्मिती होते आणि रसवा स्रोतसाचे जे हे आहे रसमल कफ असं सांगितलेलं आहे त्याच्यामुळे कफाची जी चिकित्सा आहे तर ती ऊर्ध्व भागाने करण्याची वमन म्हणून वमनाचा ह्याच्यामध्ये जास्त चांगला फायदा दिसून येतो तर वमनामध्ये आपण यष्टमधूचा वाद म्हणजे जसं प्रकृतीनुसार वेगवेगळे औषध आपण वापरू शकतो जर पित्तच प्रकृती असेल तर उसाचा रस किंवा दूध ह्याच्याने आपण वमन करू शकतो आणि स्नेहपानासाठी दाढीमध्ये ग्रुद फलग्रुद 
महातिक्त घृत असे वेगवेगळे प्रकारचे घृत आलेले आहेत ज्याच्याने आपल्याला बीजशुद्धी फलप्रदम असं सांगितलेले आहे आयुर्वेदामध्ये वाघभटामध्ये त्याच्यानंतर विरेचनासाठी आपण ज्यांना पित्त दोषाची जास्त दृष्टी असते तर त्याच्यामध्ये आपण विरेचन करण्याला सांगितले आहे तर विरेचनामध्ये वाकट कल्पस्थानामध्ये दोन विरेचनाचे योग आलेले आहेत विडंग पिंपळी त्रिफळा धान्य चित्र इंद्रजव मोठी पिंपळी पंचलवण हे सगळे एकत्र करून निशोत्तराच बत्तीस तोळे आणि त्याच्यामध्ये आवळ्याचा रस आणि गुळ सगळं एकत्र करून तो अवलेह प्रकारचं करायला सांगितलेला आहे तर त्याला कल्याण गुड असे म्हणतात तर तो सगळ्या ऋतूंमध्ये घेण्यासाठी आणि पुसवण असं म्हणजे सांगितलेला आहे त्याच्यामुळे त्याचे चांगले रिझल्ट दिसून येतात त्याच्याबरोबर श्रीकटू तामालपत्र एला दालचिनी ह्याचं पण एक योग सांगितलेला आहे तर तो दाह पांडुरोग अग्नि मांदे विषक्षय रोग ह्या रोगांवरती चालल्यामुळे तो आत्ताचे जे हे प्रॉब्लेम आहेत रसधातूशी रिलेटेड आणि शुक्र धातूशी रिलेटेड तर ते त्याच्याने नष्ट होतात आणि बस्ती बस्ती चिकित्सेमध्ये पण मुस्तादी आपण बसती एरंड मुलादी निरोह बसती दशमूळ बिलवादी भरण म्हणजे वाद प्रकृतीनुसार पित्त प्रकृतीनुसार आणि कफ प्रकृतीनुसार आपण वेगवेगळे त्याच्यामध्ये योग करू शकतो वमनामध्ये पण आपण मदन फळ वचा सेंधव पिंपळी ह्याचं प्रमाण कमी जास्त असं करून कफ कफ दृष्टी असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये त्याचं प्रमाण जास्त ठेवून आणि पित्तामध्ये कमी ठेवून आपण ते वापरू शकतो त्याच्यासोबतच नसते नसते हे गर्भाशयाला गर्भाशयावरती जाऊन गर्भस्थापक असे सांगितलेले आहे ते वटांकुराचं नसतं लक्ष्मणा सिद्ध तेलाचं नसतं सिद्ध घृताचं नसतं असे वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे नसत्यासाठीचे उपयोग सांगितलेले आहेत आणि रक्तशोधन म्हणजेच नियंत्रण पूर्वक आपण रक्तशोधन जरी केलं तरी शरीरातला वाढलेला पित्तदोष आणि उष्णता कमी होऊन बऱ्याचशा स्त्री आणि पुरुषांमधले दोष कमी होऊन त्यांच्यामध्ये स्त्री आणि शुक्रामध्ये नॉर्मलता येते असे बरेचसे पेशंटमध्ये आपल्याला आढळलेले आहेत त्या त्यामुळे आपण पंचकर्माद्वारे शरीर शुद्धी करून आणि इंटरनल मेडिसिन घेऊन होणारं जे बाळ होत तर ते आपण सुदृढ निरोगी प्राप्त करू शकतो तर त्याच्यासोबत आपल्याला जर वाघभटाचार्यांनी मास अनुमासिक काढे सांगितलेले आहेत जे प्रत्येक नऊ महिन्यामध्ये वेगवेगळे प्रकारचे सेवन करण्यासाठी सांगितलेले आहेत आणि बाळाची बुद्धी वगैरे वाढण्यासाठी ब्राह्मी वटीचा आपण वापर करू शकतो सारस्वत अरिष्ट देऊ शकतो हे सर्व जर आपण केलं तर त्याचे जे आहेत परिणाम ते गर्भावरती चांगले येतात आणि ह्याच्यासोबतच गर्भ संस्कारमध्ये आपण वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे पुस्तक आहेत मेडिशे मेडिटेशन साठी तर ते देतो बा, बालाजी तांबेंची योग गर्भ संस्कार साठीची सीडी आहे तर ते ऐकल्याने सुद्धा त्याचा चांगला इम्पॅक्ट येतो गर्भावरती आणि ज्ञानेश्वरीचं वाचन असेल त्याच्यासोबतच पसायदान असेल प्राणायोगायाम प्राणा आणि योगा ह्याचा सुद्धा चांगला इम्पॅक्ट गर्भावरती होतो म्हणजे आई जे विचार करते तेच त्याचा इम्पॅक्ट बाळावरती होत असतो म्हणून ती जे ऐकेल तर ते कसं हे करायचं त्याचं सगळं आयुर्वेदामध्ये वर्णन केलेलं आहे आईने जो आहार करावा तो सात्विक आहार आणि लघु आहार असं सांगितलेलं आहे प्रत्येक महिन्यामध्ये काय काय सेवन करायचं तेही सांगितलेलं आहे आयुर्वेदामध्ये तर हे सगळे जर आपण आयुर्वेदानुसार फॉलो केलं तर जे होणार बाळ गर्भावरती त्याचा चांगला परिणाम होऊन होणारे बाळ छान निर्माण होत थँक्यू सर हॅलो थँक्यू डॉक्टर थँक्यू डॉक्टर सुधा हॅलो थँक यू डॉक्टर Next, I would like to invite Dr. Benishankari HDL for the paper presentation on the topic Etiopathology of Acid Peptic Disorders and Their Management. Doctor, are you there? Ah, oh, yes, Doctor. Doctor, please share the screen, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Slide is visible, Doctor, no? not visible doctor one second doctor. 
ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬನಶಂಕರಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚರ್ ಪಿಜಿ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಯ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಏಲನ್ ಗಾವ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕೊಪ್ಪ ಗೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ತ್ರಿವೇಣಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ಗಡೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಶ್ವಿನಿ ಎಸ್ ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಥಿಯೋಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆಮ್ಲಪಿತ್ತ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಕೋಸ commonly known manifestation of atdr gastroesophageal facial distress disease immersion of gastric content into the esophagus gastritis inflammation of uh, gastric mucosal lining due to action of acid or h pylori infection peptic ulcers are mucosal defects that extends to or beyond the muscularis mucosa with the mucosal damage due to the gastric acids hello doctor is the doctor your screen is not moving doctor ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಂಟಮ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಲ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸಿಂಟಮೆಟಿಕ್ upper abdominal pain epigastric pain discomfort is the most uh, prominent symptom pain is burning type pain is duodenal ulcers occurs 1 to 3 hours after meal and uh, during night pain in gastric ulcers occurs immediately after food complications bleeding passage of black stools that is melena blood in vomiting that is hematemesis weakness perforation leads to leakage of stomach contents into abdominal cavity acute peritonitis that is infection of uh, abdominal cavity uh, t pod deformity and uh, our glass uh, contracture investigations examination of blood h2 level will low in patients with chronic blood loss due to melena and hematemesis raised esr in gastric ulcer suggests malignancy examination of stool black and tarry stool and occult blood gastric function test barium meal there will notch in the greater curvature in kashyapa samita kila sthana we have said amla pitta nidana viruddha adhyashana ajirna purana anna pishta anna apakva ahara madhyapana gorasa guru vishendra bhojana vega dharana snigdha ruksha amla drava ati sevana kulatta sevana diva sopna and symptoms of amla pitta ಅವಿಪಾಕ ಕ್ಲಮ ಉತ್ಲೇಷ ಪಿತ್ತ ಉದ್ಗಾರ ಗೌರವ ಹೃತ್ಕಾಹ ಕಂಠದಾಹ ರುಚಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಟು ಲೋವರ್ ದಿ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದೋಸರ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಪಟೋಲ ಧತೂರ ವಾಸ ಗುಡುಚಿ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಜ ಕ್ಷಾರ ಗುಡುಚಿ ಅಬ್ರಕ to reinforcement of gastric mucosal barrier st majju amlaki shatavari guduchi low gastric mortality bringraja shati nishota haritati shunti pudina to lower the infection due to h pylori ativisha kirata pitta panchamruta parpati conclusion amla pitta is a very common disease in present era it is a very troublesome disease and can give rise to many serious problems if not treated in time In most of the disease sometimes of agni man types of agni man is often found therefore for our understanding the concept of agni and its applicability is very essential for an ayurvedic physician as well as uh, ayurvedic scholar thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr kiran is for the paper presentation on the topic amshamsha kalpana dr Hi, kiran sir. are you there yes sir okay doctor Please start the session, Doctor. Uh, hello? Hello, Doctor? 
Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Am I audible? Yes, doctor. Audible. Ah, uh, okay. Actually, I'm uh, sharing the screen from uh, Ban Shankari. Okay, okay, doctor. Ah, yes, it's visible. Yes, doctor, visible, doctor. Okay. Uh, the, the topic is uh, Amshamsha Kalpana uh, by Kiran SS, guided by Dr. Keshav uh, Koged, uh, Dr. Nibin Surgeon. So, introduction uh, to Amshamsha Kalpana. Amshamsha means, Amsha means fraction, portion, or bit piece. Amshamsha means, means every fraction, every portion, and every bit piece. Uh, kalpana means a uh, treatment hypothesis concept or idea uh, amshamsha kalpana means to imagine form an idea or to make a hypothesis of every fragment and fractions of dosha on terms of its qualities involved in causation and some property of disease and pathogenesis of disease analysis of dosha in depth of guna involvement is known as amshamsha kalpana uh, references uh, dosha naam samaveda naam uh, Vikalpo Amshamsha Kalpanam uh, Samavetanam Punar Doshanam Amshamsha Vikalpo Vikalpa uh, Vikalpa Samprati Vikalpa Samprati help us to estimate the fractional association of dosha with the help of practical hypothetical knowledge called as Amshamsha Kalpana. When doshas get vitiated by Nidana, they also get vitiated quality wise and quantity wise based on the guna involved. Uh, so, Amshamsha Kalpana can be seen in Hedu, Linka, uh, and Aushadas. So, first in Hedu, understanding Amshamsha Kalpana in Hedu is by understanding which guna of the dosha are increased or decreased by Hedu to which extent. The minute property of dosha, that which is responsible for protection of disease, can be taken as Amsha Amsha Bhaga, that is minute part of dosha, and is used for understanding the disease. In Nanatmaja Vyadi, whenever one dosha is significantly dominant and other doshas are in normal level, then in such condition, analysis of domination of guna of a particular dosha is Amshamsha Kalpana. So, Amshamsha Kalpana in Hedu, all these courses, Vata Vishayashan, uh, Kalaya, through its rasa, that is Kashaya, Guna, Virya, Shida, causes Vata Vriddhi. Uh, Tanduliya by its guna and virya increases vada vidhi. Kantekshu by its guna of legu increases the vada vidhi. Uh, gunas of vata, tatra ruksha legu, chijas karo, sushmsalo anila vata, pitta, uh, pittam sasnehas diksnoshnam, legu vishram sarandravam, kafa, snigdam, shidam, guru, mandu, selectionam, merchantsila, kafa. So vata we are taking it as cold wind, uh, pitta is for uh, uh, boiling water. And kapha is for uh, uh, ice to make an understanding. Uh, so with the features of vata, we'll be taking gunas as legu, ruksha, chala, and sukshma, and virya as shida. And uh, kapha is same as it above, and we'll be taking for comparison as kapha as ice and pitta as boiling water. So understanding based on samsarga jadoshas. So first combination is kapha and pitta. Here, uh, Kapha and Pitta have Snigdha Guna in similar. When both uh, comes together, there will Snigdha will be more. For example, uh, Ikleidamsha will be more. Example, in Chopa, Shalitis, Rava, in Vicharchika, and in Ringvam. But thinking uh, if we give Ushna Chikilsa to specify Kapha, it gives more liquefaction and more Dusha Prakopa. Instead of this, uh, we should go with Rasa. Uh, selection of Rasa, we will be using Sheeta and Ruksha Rasa to specify both Pitta and Kapha. Vata and Pitta, here Lagu Guna is common for Vata and Pitta. So because of Pitta and the Gunas of Vata, there will be Dhatuk Shayaja. Uh, so the treatment aspect, what we want to follow is, here Rukshata is more. The symptoms will be emaciation, dehydration, thirst, insomnia, mouth ulcer, dry eye. So here treatment is uh, Shita, Snigdha, Guru, Brahmana treatment. So here Madhra Rasa is opted as it is Shida and Snigdha Guru. Uh, caution, the acne of the patient should be taken care or else it will lead to Ama. Uh, management, Yogas, Vidaryadi Leham, Kushmandarasaha, uh, Shatavaryadi Gulam, Drakshadi Lehiyam. 
Next is Kapha and Vata. Here both have Sita in common. So management of Kapha Vata will be uh, Sita and Stira Guna is more. Example, Manjistamba, Vats, Granthi, Calf, Muscle, Pain. Since Sita Guna is the cause of Krishna, it is given to liquefy the Kapha. Management is Vedana in both ways, Bahi and Abhyandara. Bahi Churna, Bahi Churna Pinda Seda, Patra Pinda Seda. And yoga, sir, Varanadi, Navaka Guru, Kalyana Guru, and external therapy, sir, plays a major role. So, the conclusion all the Trisutra can be assessed on the basis of Gunas and their combination, permutation uh, with their Taradama Bhava and Amshamsha Kalpana, depending upon Desha Kala and Ridu. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kiran. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Rajani for the paper presentation on the topic Madhya and Abhati Vivejana and its clinical importance. Dr. Rajani, are you there? Hello? Hello, Dr. Rajani, please share the screen. Your voice is coming. Hello? Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Are you there? <laughs> Sir, am I visible? Not visible, Doctor. Hello. Hello. Just one second, sir. Okay, doctor. Okay, Doctor, screen is screen yeah. visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Myself, Dr. Rajini Angri, Department of Thai Chikitsa, Yale and our College Kappa. So today I'm uh, discussing on the topic Patya Patya Vivechana. So introduction, Anna Jivanam Chiyate Anna Di Vitiyate Iti Kayaha. Food is important for life, one of the basic component and considered one among Prayopastamba. Chikitsa of Vyadi needs about Beshaja Ahara Vihara. Patya has main major role in both preventive and curative aspects of diseases. Patya is not mainly about food but also about daily activities according to Rutu and Vyadi. Definition Patyam Patam Anapete Yach Choktam Anasa Priyam Yach Priyam Patam Chaniyatam tan lakshanam. So, paryay of patya is ayusham, karanam, and hitam. Foods indicated are according to Charaka Sutrasthana, Shastika Shali, Mudga, Saindava, Amalaka, Antariksha Jala, Grita, Madhu, meat of Jangaladesha. Foods contraindicated are Valura, dry vegetables, Shalukani, and deceased animal meat. Uh, these are some wholesome dietic articles according to Charaka Sutra. And these are wholesome dietic articles according to Charaka Sutra. Patya Patya according to Ruthu Charya. In Hemanta Ruthu, we should follow Snigda, Amla, Anupadesha Mamsa, Madhu, Sidhu, Abhyanga, Dupa Sevana. Apatya is Lagu Ahara, exposure to cold. Shishira Rutu, we should follow similar to the prior one. Avoid Shita Laguahara, Katutikta Kashaya Rasa. Vasanta Rutu, excessive exercise. And Duma, Gandusha, Anjuna, Lepa, and Agaru. Guru Amla, Madura, Snigda, Diva Sopna is Apatya. In Grishma Rutu, follow Madura, Shitala, Snigda, Diva Sopna, and hydrate your body. Apatya is avoid Sura Amla, Lavana, Ushna, Katu, avoid heavy exercise. 
in varsha ruttu follow madhu uh, madhura snigdha amla lavana arishta preparations apatya is diva swapna exercise exercise maituna karma in sharat ruttu follow madhura lagu shita tikta ahara virechana rakta mokshana avoid anupamamsa vasa taila dadi diva swapna exposure to sun factors for planning factors for planning apatya is rasaguna virya vipaka prabhava prakriti of sharira agni desha kala nature of preparation of food that is kriya form of food matra and frequency of food built and nourishment that is purusha some of diseases explained in jwara are purana shali mudga guruchi jeevanti lagu ahara yavagu peya vilepi vihara is langana vamana virechana basti nasya some of apatya as mentioned are guru vidahi vishtamba and vihara is vega dharana vyayama snana in pandu Sampatya followed are Yava, Shali, Kushmanda, Gomutra, Haridra, Vihara is Brudu Virechana, Apatya is Masha, Taila, Tambula, Sarshapa, Vihara, Atapa, Sevana, Maituna, Dhumapana, Divasopna, Pushta, Apatya is Lagu, Ruksha, Tikta, Rasa, Pradana, Purana, Grita, Vihara, Vamana, Virechana, Rakta, Mukshana, Abhyanga, Apatya is Viruddha, Pishtana, Navana, Abhishanda, Guru, Shita, Smitta, Hara, Vihara is Malamutra, Vega, Dharana, Ativyayama, Effects of Wholesome Diet is Sharira Mupachayam Balavarna Sukhayushaha Yojayati Sharira Dhatuna Murjayati Chai according to Charaka Sutra Varna Prasadam Sarsvarya Jeevanti Pratibha Sukham Conclusion No doubt the specific diet which can be said to be the ideal for every human body. Most of health problems developed due to Patya Apatyaja Ahara Vihara. Ayurveda being holistic and scientific approach in health management, it emphasizes more on diet regime along with the medicines. So the proper usage of diet not only prevents the diseases, but also play important role in management of diseases. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rajani. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shreda Vishnu Thotkar for the paper presentation on the topic Shodash Samskara. Dr. Shreda, uh, are you yeah. there? Yes, sir, I'm, I'm there. Just one minute, sir. I will share the my screen. Okay, doctor. Uh, yeah, sir, am I uh, visible? Visible, doctor. Screen is visible. Uh -huh. Please start okay. the session, doctor. Okay. Shodasha Samskaras. Uh, I am Dr. Shweta Vishnu Thodkar, PG Scholar of uh, Kamarbeta Department under the guidance of Dr. Mahesh Sogle. Uh, and the college name is Late Kedari Redekar Ayurvedic Mahavidyalaya. So, introduction. Uh, in Hindu culture, it is believed that every aspect of the life is sacred. Though due to the, this region, each important stage from the conception to Antayasti for the death cremation, it is distinguished as the special rituals. The samskaras are the performed for the physical, social, and the religious development of the individual. The sacrament composed of the worships of God and the words spoken as mantras by the Vaidyas as per, as per the Ayurvedic test. The word samskara used in the classical contents refers to a rite or the rituals performed to the mark stage in the person's life or for the achieving certain uh, personal goals towards the self-realization. Let us analyze for a bit. The etymology of the word samskara to understand the meaning of the word, the word is composite of the root that is kar to do qualified by the sum well or appropriate that karya which is done, sum uh, and activity which is done well or appropriate is no, uh, nothing but the samskara. So, showed us a samskara. If samskara is nothing but the samskara hi gunantara adhyana muchate, that means the development uh, that is the mental, social and the physical development of the child, it is nothing but the so, uh, samskara. So the first one is the garbhadana samskara. So I'll start with the skin garbhadana uh, samskara. It is performed by a married couple when conceived a child. This is important to samskara, raised the act of conception to a sacred occasion and is powerfully purifying and uplifting for the unborn child. The, in the couples, they will do the panchakarma and the other uh, shodhana samskaras to get the better uh, conception. Hmm? Next one is the uh, second one is the pumsavana samskara. It's usually performed between the second and the fourth month of the pregnancy. Uh, its purpose is to ensure the good health of the fetus and the proper formation of the, its organs so that the family line and the tradition will be reputed through the body. The hot things, the ushnata will be uh, caused, uh, uh, will get the male child and the shitata will be uh, get the uh, female child and the odd and even will be for the male and female child. Right now, there will be no, uh, no one will be practicing in this, but some of the uh, Mahatik Takagrita 
ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪುತ್ರಂಜೀವ ಕಾಡ ಕಷಾಯ ದ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸವನ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿವಿಶ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎನಿಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಮಂತ ನೇನ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ದ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೀಟಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೆನ್ ಸಿಮಂತ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಫೀಟಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅನ್ಬೋರ್ನ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಾತಕರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ನೋಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ಬರ್ತ್ ಚಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜಾತಕರ್ಮ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ಕುಂಭ ಸ್ಥಾಪನ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೇಬೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜಾತಕರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೊ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಾಮಕರ್ಣ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ನಾಮಕರ್ಣ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ ಇಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ನಾಮಕರ್ಣ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆರ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಚರಕ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಶುಶ್ರುತ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಸಂಹಿತ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ so the sixth one is the nishkavan samskara the baby's first outing into the world beyond the uh, confines of, uh, of the home the outing of the baby at the first time it is nothing but the nishkavan samskara to see the uh, her social develop uh, or the child social development uh, will see in the nishkavan samskara the seventh one is the annaprasana the first feeding of the solid or the semi solid food to the baby usually in the six months after the birth so uh, after the kashyapa samhita they will take after fifth month they will the phala prashana and after that uh, they started the anna prashana so the eighth one is karna vedana samskara usually performed in the sixth or the seventh month after the birth consistent of piercing of the baby's ear lobe so earring may be uh, own by the karna vedana samskara they will be the development of the immunity also and towards the facing uh, facing towards the sun uh, rise they will do the karana vedana samskara piercing of the uh, uh, ear lobe of the baby so ninth one is the chuda karana samskara at the end of the first year after birth or the during the third year uh, the child uh, is shaved all but a uh, tuft on the top of the head this ritual shaving of the hair performed with ceremony prayers and the chanting of the vedic hymns is chuda karana samskara this samskara is for both boys and the girls so the 10th one is vidyaramba samskara begins a student's primary education by the uh, uh, ceremonially introducing the child to the alphabet uh, they will do the uh, writing on the dhanya or they will do the uh, mantra chanting of the mantras they will make a feet uh, sit on uh, makes baby to sit on that and they will do the vidyaramba samskara so the 11th one is upanayana samskara initiate the Uh, formal study of the vedas it is one of the most important and the estimated of the samskara upon the performance of the upanayana a boy traditionally moves from home to leave the ashram of the guru means the guru kala pratha is nothing but the upanayana samskara uh, so 12th twelfth one is the samavartana samskara with samavartana samskara the discipline graduates from his vedic studies and returns from the house of the his guru thereafter the discipline will marry and raise a family and so enter the stage of the householder uh, grah uh, grah ashrama the 13th one is the vivaha samskara the traditional hindu wedding ceremony is known as the vivaha samskara is considered by many to be a most important of the all samskaras so 14th one is panchakarma samskara a married couple performs the uh, pancha uh, pancha mahayagna or uh, five great sacrifices uh, five is daily in this samskara one as in turns the rishis the gods and the parents human kinds and all the creations begins the 15th one is the vanaprastha samskara according to the vedic uh, tradition vanaprastha is the third stage of the life following brahmacharya vedic student or discipline and the grahastha here here a one lives behind one's life in the world and the retires to the forest to live and the uh, ascent life devoted to service study to the scripture uh, scripture and the uh, to meditation uh, and the uh, na- last and 16th one is the antyashti samskara the final sacrament the funeral rites are known as the antyashti samskara so conclusion samskaras are the series of the rituals that makes the improvements in various stages of the human life 
Samskara are the religious custom, rite or rituals and the sacrifices are religious ceremony. It plays the prime role in the child health system and overall development at the each step of the life. It also prevents the disease, adapt to the environment for the further survival, give individual identity and the education to the child. Thus, it included the knowledge of the developmental milestones is described in a scientific manner in Ayurveda under the heading of Sanskaras. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sheta. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Ongar Ashok Virav for the paper presentation on the topic Krivirioga in children. Doctor, are you there? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Okay, sir. Is my screen visible, sir? Yes, doctor, visible. Okay, sir. Thank you. Good evening. My topic is one infestation, creamy rogue in children. Myself, Dr. Omkar Gurav, PG second year, Kamar Pratya Department, Late Kedar Ledek Raiveda College. <clears throat> I am presenting this topic under the valuable guidance of Dr. Niti Shingare, Associate Professor of our college. Introduction to topic, description. One infestation is limitation on growth and development of children. Most of the children play in dust and not aware of hygiene like proper washing hands before meals and after defecation. Bad sanitization and use of uncooked food or improper washing of food materials. At highest risk of morbidity are preschool and school age children. One infestation could lead to malnutrition, iron deficiency, anemia and impaired physical growth. Nimbapatraswaras is the herbal drug in Ayurveda. This is mentioned in Bhavaprakash Yogratnakar and is selected for the Trial on worm infestation. Prevalence rate. WHO recommends annual treatment in areas where prevalence rate of helminthes is between 20% and 50% and biannual treatment in areas with prevalence rates of over 50%. Need of study. Because at present all over in the society that the people goes on increasing for non-veg diet, milk products, sweet and bakery product, faulty prepared food, fermented and fast food, etc. Children usually like sweet food items, biscuits, bakery items, which vitiated doshas and lead into worm infestation, that is Borishas Krumi. So there are lakshanas of Abhyantra Krumi, as per Susrut Uttar Tantra 54. Abhyantra Kriminam, Samanya Lakshanam, Joro Vivarnata, Shula Rudrok, Sadhan Brahma, Bhakta Dveshu Ati Sarasya, Sanjat Krimi Lakshanam. These are the lakshanas of Abhyantra Krumi. Next is Vishesh, Vishesh Nidan. Krimi Visheshana Nidan Vishesham Masapishti Amla Lavana Buddha Shauka Purishaj. Masa Matsya Budakshira Dadi Shukte Kapodhava Viruddha Jirnakshaya Shoni Tosta Bhavanti. Next is Purishaj Krimi. <coughs> Purishaj Krimi Nam Pakwasha Purishastu Jayante Dovi Sarpinam Pravruddha Subarche Yada Bhava in Mukha, Tada So Udgarani, Swasa, Vidagandanu, Vidayani, Mathurutata, Nustula, Shava Pita, Sita Sita, Te Pancha Namanam, Kripayam, Kakeruka Makeruka, Sosurada Se Shulakam, Lehinam Janenti, Viveda Shula Vishtambam, Karsha Parusha Panduta, Roma Arasha Agni Sadanam, Buddha Kandu Vimargana. Uh, Ayurveda puts three basic approaches for the treatment of helminth disease such as Apakarsana. Apakarsana is, it means to extract with the help of Upakarsana instrument like uh, Samaksha hand and other appliances. There are two types of Apakarsana, Bhayapakarsana and Antarapakarsana. Second one is Prakruti Vigatana. Uh, Prakruti Vigatana means destruction of the favorable factors or environment like Kapha and Snigdha by using different drugs. And uh, last one is Nidan Parivarjana. Uh, <clears throat> Nidan Parivarjana helps to prevent the recurrence of the disease. It prevents the further multiplication of the creamy. It helps the treatment easy. It includes Patya Apatya. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Next, I would like to invite 
Dr. Praji Bharat Kadu for the paper presentation on the topic Effective Janivarasi and Nadi Sayadhan in Jani Sandhikada Vada, a case study. Dr. Praji, are you there? Hello, Dr. Praji, are you there? Okay, next I would like to invite Dr. Kalyani Mithal Kumar Mahajan for the paper presentation on the topic An Ayurvedic Overview of Vector Pradatta with Respect to Menorrhagia. Dr. Kalyani, are you there? Hello, Dr. Kalyani. Okay, next I would like to invite Doc, Dr. Komal Kogate for the paper presentation on the topic Egal Trivia Shundi in Clinical Practice, Retreat Review. Dr. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, doctor, please start with this. Doctor. लेकिन हो नहीं रहा सर मेरे स्क्रीन शेयर नहीं हो नहीं हो रही है ओके हाँ सर ओके नहीं सर अनसपोर्टेड डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप आ रहे हैं इंट्रोडक्शन मैं शॉर्ट में एक्सप्लेन करू क्या सर चलेगा ना इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस मेनी हार्बल ड्रग्स आर यूज उनमें से शुनकी इज वन ऑफ देम रस वीर विपक रिस्पेक्टिवली रस वीर विपक इज कर टू उष्ण और मधुर रिस्पेक्टिवली शुंठ की डाइजेस्टिव एंड रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम हेल्दी ड्यू टू इट्स टीपन रुच विषर्ण उष्ण वीर वेरियस इनोमिन आर अवेलेबल विश्व भैसेज विश्व नागर नागर शुंठ मीन्स टू प्युरीफाई इट इट हेल्प इट हेल्प दैट इट प्युरीफाइज द होल बॉडी सिस्टम इट ऑल्सो It also has a maha aushad. Aushad maha aushad. Shunti is mentioned in various ganas. Charkas charka charya mentioned in truptigna, truptigna dipaniya, shula prashaman, drushna nigrahan, etc. Its kapha kapha vatakna and anti-asthmatic by its property of tikta and smita. It improves various cures, omitting dyspnea, spasmodic. 
pain, cough, uh, gastric and heart diseases. It, uh, titanius uh, sputum of the uh, pharyngitis is relieved by the chewing ginger, charcoal ginger powder with honey. Uh, with honey as anupan is effective in asthmatic bronchi. It is water no property as used in Jirna Sandigat Avat in the form of the Uh, so here is the aim and objective. Aims to, uh, to, uh, to study the effect of the shunti in various diseases. Objective to study guna karma of shunti. Uh, material hai, literature review study. Shunti, Shunti Nagar Deepanam Rusha, Grahya Rutya Vibandhano, Trucha Lagu Swadupakam, Snegdoshna Kapha Vata Chita. Deepanam, Deepanam, how to act as a Deepanam? That drug does not uh, digest an A, but, uh, but only stimulate that Agni. Someone why is stimulated of appetite as why you stimulate Agni. Stimulation of various increases and control of digestive secretion. Stimulation of vagus by sore and salty and uh, kutu urasa. Deepen uh, takes place in stomach uh, and act for a uh, mouth to phyloric end. Grahi. Uh, grahi means absor uh, absorbent. The drug having Ushna Viria Kutu Vipak helps to increase the digestion and absorption of fluid, resulting of solidification of stool. Uh, Rusham, which uh, heightens the liver as Madhur Vipak. Rudya, that which pleases uh, the mind and beneficial for a uh, heart. The uh, Rudya activity acts as a uh, uh, shunti is a uh, uh, shunti is a uh, vatagna property that, that's why it acts as a rutya. So here are the property lagu gun lagu lagu gun lagu gun mahabut hai akash vayu or tej lightness of the body snit the gun mahabut jala bring softness of the strotus it relieves vat and increase the kapha straightens all dhatus useful to shaman and shodhan chikitsa ushna gun ushna gun mahabut tej pachan action can occur katuras madhur mahabut vayu and agni appetizer digest to taste promoter uh, uh, it uh, retain water uh, water from feces and urine ushna virya mahabut agni reduces vat and kapha madhur vipa causes kapha reduces vat and pitta gunas nigdha guru act like a laxative Conclusion, Shira Shul, here we can use uh, using uh, Shunti as a single drug in many diseases. Shira Shul, uh, action hai Vatagna Gun, uh, root a lepan uh, at the Lalat Pradesh or uh, Nasya, Ahwa, uh, Tipan anti inflammatory action, find a lepan on Upnaha, Chirna Sandigat Vat, anti inflammatory Vatagna Gun, find a lepan or Upnaha. Uh, anorexia is uh, anorexia deepen action deepen internal medication ke saath isko de sakte omitting deepen katuras internal medications lose of appetite deepen internal medication lepen at umbilical region cardiac debility patagna gun uh, shunti uh, path lepen at ride pradesh Aphrodisiac, uh, Madhur Vipak, internal medicines, Udbartan, Udbartan, respiratory disease, cough of anti inflammatory, anti asthmatic, internal medicines, lepon and sternum, swelling, anti inflammatory, uh, danta shul, vatagna. Lepan uh, Amajanyatisar, Deepan, internal medication, scorpion uh, poison, Vatagna, Nasya, uh, Vatagna, Nasya, local application, uh, Stanya Shodan, Logu Ushnakuna, Stanik Lepan, internal medications. Thank you.
Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Kalyani. Dr. Kalyani, are you there? Okay. Dr. Preji, are you there? Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Aishiri Aras to conclude the session. Dr. Aishiri? Yes. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Yes, Doctor, but your voice is breaking. Thank you. Okay, so doctor. here we are completing one more presentation today. So before saying goodbye, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our panel members who stood up with us from the beginning. And thanks to all our wonderful participants for sharing the, their knowledge with everyone. And our seminar will start from April 1st.